What's up, guys? It's Will here back again for another episode of Collectors Mingle. We're here to talk about the news tonight. We're going to talk about some other fun stuff. We're going to talk about Goblin. I know Anthony's going to love that. We're going to talk about the Cosca Reeves, Axe Wolves. We're going to talk about Prime One Gimli from the Lord of the Rings. We're going to talk about a lot of different stuff tonight. With that said, my voice is cracking. I'm obviously going through puberty. Nonetheless, we're also going to play Jeopardy. So Hot Toys Collecting Jeopardy. Came up with this like five hours ago. I think the questions are pretty good. Don't really know the rules of Jeopardy that well, but we're going to get through it. That is all right around the corner, so stay tuned. What's up, guys? Sorry, my uh, I was talking, my voice started cracking, like I'm going wow. through the delayed puberty. So. You know why I started cracking? Why? What's up? Because you muted everybody. <laughs> I know. You just shouldn't have done it. <laughs> I know you were yourself. thinking, are they going to unmute? Are they going to interrupt me? We couldn't I know. even save you, bro. We couldn't even throw your life away. Leo, he always, he always hops in. He's like, well, well, Nick, I'm not going to say nothing. I told you I wasn't going to say nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See? It backfired, didn't it? Yep. Yeah, it did backfire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It absolutely did. Absolutely Leo. did. But guys, thanks so much for joining us always. Like I said, we got a great show for you guys tonight. But before we address the chat, let's address the amazing panel we have. Six Scale Mafia, Anthony, love your display back there, man, as always. Hey, thanks thank for you, joining. Man. Dude, thanks for having you me. you had some great pizza last night, didn't you? I did. Air fried. <laughs> um... <laughs> It's that pizza, good, man. man. I need to get my I'm, pizza hut game up to your level. I'm tell. Well, you get a roommate that works at Pizza Hut. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> I mean, yeah. How you doing, anyway, otherwise, yeah. man? You good? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm a uh, hundred percent no longer sick. Ooh, That's great! Congrats. That deserves an applause. Yeah. It does. Thank you. Yeah, it was a Congrats. grueling two weeks, man. It sucked. So. Yeah. So you're feeling better? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better, man. I mean, nice. I, I'm blowing my nose a couple times, but I'm done. I'm done. You know what I mean? You can tell when you're not. You know what I'm saying? I think we're in a world now, like even now I have a little bit of a cough. Every time anyone has a call for anything now, you're like, I have COVID. Oh my God. You know, it's like, you know, that's, <laughs> no, then we I all start to get it. Like, but I know yeah. what you mean. Everybody's like, oh my God, I have a germ. I must right. have COVID. It's like, no, right. but because it sucks when you get it. But anyway, yeah. but anyway it's good to be here though, man. For sure. Yeah, man. Thanks for joining. Leo, I'm What's your up, accountant. Bro? I didn't even know. So yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Will's accountant. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm your you're accountant. my accountant. Okay. I'm, gotcha. I'm your okay. accountant. Yeah. yeah. I guess I'm your accountant. I'm, I'm KG's agent. Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> That's a nice yeah. little side hustle. Right yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. It, it keeps the figures coming in. Yeah. yeah. How you doing, man? Bro. <clears throat> um, nah, it's, I'm pretty good, man. We we just you know got done not too long ago with uh, take a position. We had some fun doing that. Um, you know, was creating comic book covers and you know just experimenting and you know having a good time doing that. Um, good practice for. Uh, Pose wars because I thought hey. that you know for the simple fact yeah. that everybody everybody over there cheats and the thing is it's like yo like <laughs> yeah. literally they cheat and so I'm like yo I got I kind of got ran, you know bamboozled last time so I'm I'm coming in Never again. red hot next time I'm, I'm gonna be angry I'm coming in and and anybody throws those banes at me for real <laughs> I'm ready oh, for yeah. it. I heard yeah. KG got sabotaged so oh, he did I felt so bad for him. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, was, he was lucky that we were preoccupied uh most of the evening because i i tuned in a couple times but i couldn't pay attention bro because i was busy with shit because i was gonna hit yeah. you too but, <laughs> wow, I, hate to see oh, I was coming i didn't i, was I like, didn't hit KG, you i, I didn't do nothing to you kg i'm hitting you i didn't do nothing to you kg you're good Leo, you got something special there show the people Oh no no not tonight! Oh not okay, tonight. I, I thought this, you had this, a special this, pose this for was, it. No, this was just Wonder Woman. Ooh. I, it, it's it's not. No, I'm just I'm just <laughs> um because I got done with po with uh, take a position, so I got to get this back in the detail along with the other ones. But mm. you know what I mean? It was just it was a bit it was heated tonight. You know we kind of got into some stuff as far as some poses and making sure that you know we were on top. But um yeah, I'm ready for pose wars, bro. Because Dude. I think Jack, uh, Zach, uh, yeah, you know, they be like seriously, they take care of their own, bro. But it comes to everybody else, we get gun, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they do, bro. Collecting week with savage over there. I know. They are, bro. There you go. <laughs> so, Aux Daddy in the house. And thanks God, thank God, Leo. We thanks have Aux God, Father Jesus. here to check our levels. Check make the sure levels. we're good. Just Dude, it was case. hilarious, Leo, by the way. I asked Zach was like, Yeah, my son of the show. I'm like, Yeah, man, I totally forgot. But yes, you were still in. And then he was like, Can you add me to the thumbnail? And I was like, Yes. So how'd you write it's now? Disrespectful, man. Disrespectful. I know. Like, I'm, so sorry. Sorry. I'm like, I I'm not an Ann Moore kind of guy. You know, I'm a terrible last week. I was like, You better update that thumbnail. I know, right? So, Ox Father Zach, how you doing, man? It's been great to get you back, man. It's been a while. 
It has been a while. I'm glad to be here. We had Pose Wars last night. Super fun. KG went through the gauntlet. Came in tied for first. <laughs> what a legend, bro. What an absolute yeah. legend. KG, yeah. Like I said, I heard he got sabotaged, so it must be all that uh, Dune money that people are upset about. So. Yep. Yeah, I yeah, guess absolutely. people want money. I don't know. Hey, <laughs> but uh, through all that, bro, you 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 came on tied first, man. That's badass. Yeah, yeah, no, I actually, you know, I had a lot of fun. It was it was it was challenging, you know, people doing those banes. I just sweating as hell like yesterday, but it was a lot of fun being on Pose Wars, and hopefully, I can come again on Pose Wars again because that was a lot of fun. Uh, oh, but for me, man, just um, you, you know, pretty good day. You know, I was pretty busy, uh, and text you but- will. Uh, but I had uh, a <laughs> I had time to uh, you know get some free time join on a live stream so yeah. busy doing what stuff man don't worry about it <laughs> yeah. he's with Zendaya. Oh, he's with Zendaya. <laughs> oh so he was he was with Zendaya? yeah he's with Zendaya. tom doesn't know you know i got tom's phone number right yeah he doesn't know mm, oh, oh I, I don't know what you're talking about you know what as a matter of fact i'm, I'm gone i'll be i'll see you guys later come on <laughs> yeah. nah man kg he's you know he's doing uh hollywood stuff layout hollywood shit yeah, yeah you yeah. know yeah, it's all good. Yeah, but I thanks so much 10%. to everyone for joining. Like, what an amazing panel. Brother Cousin should be here, at least by like nine, so like an hour from now, 40 minutes from now. Okay. I think he had a rough day. I think he was, uh, you know, shoveling snow. So I know we tried to get uh, Boston mm. Boston collectors on here too, Leo, and uh, he was um, he was busy uh, as well. So okay. I think he said he'd been shoveling all day. Yo, oh my God, I saw his yeah. post. He was like, yeah, he pretty much everybody now. in Boston, because that's Brendan. He was, he was shoveling all day today too. So it's been... Yep. Uh, we didn't get hit. Like, Harrisburg, we didn't get hit over here, man. Yeah, good. it's a We're nice 68 degrees here, guys. Damn. Nice man. breeze. Wow. Um, tree, man. No snow in California, so we're yeah, pretty good. Well, until uh, yeah, well, I mean, I mean, I'm in Arizona, but close enough. But I mean, dude, until summer comes, then I'm screwed. Oh yeah. yeah. So I'm enjoying yeah. it right now. Nice, Andrew James. Thanks so much, Andrew. Uh, I really appreciate the super chat. Will, Ant, and KG, you guys rock. Thanks so much. This whole panel, rocks, rock. man. They they just make me look good. But Andrew rocks as well. He plays Call of Duty with us, and uh, he's pretty good. Not gonna lie. So you know, I'm like middle of the pack. I'm like just good enough to be there. You need to get a PS5. I know, man. I'm just good enough to be there. Like Anthony killed me a bunch of times when we played, but you know, he well, he was on bro. He was on PC. He can't compete with a mouse and keyboard. Yeah, exactly. He was cheating, so it's fine. So (laughs) that seems to be the thing, right? I don't know. Right. Yeah. Guys, let's adjust the chat go. real quick before we hop into these topics. So, sure. Xander, here we go. In 10 hours, yes, Xander was here super, super early. So, yes, <laughs> he showed up to the concert quite early. Two Kothri, two Fern, Six Scale Mafia, of course. Simon, another great panel. Thanks so much, Simon. Friends, the Ben Cave. Sean Bean in the house. I love Sean Bean. Uh, two Kothri, Paul Ha, Cobra's Collection, Aaron Logan. Uh, very close to Iron Logan. Maybe mm-hmm. they're cousins. Possibly. Uh, Let's see, awesome. Cobra's collection, Dinesh, uh, Dinesh, I have no idea how to pronounce your last name, so I'm just going to go with Dinesh on that one. Uh, Paul Ha, Jazzy, Mike Fayella, um, Chris K, what's up? Um, Ren Santino, like I said, I always recommend Ren's his art. Seriously, if you haven't followed him, like his art is yeah. really, really good. Um, guy is super talented. Ray C, uh, One Six Fig, Uncommon Flex, what's up, Uncommon Flex? Alvin J, Nick's Collectibles, Bob Dylan, the world's greatest moderator, him and Doc Smizzle, that is. Philip the Fool, Dockinator, Josh Amante, um, Cobra's Collection, SpongeBob Square Balls in the house. Wow. <laughs> He's all, I thank God he changed his name back, Leo. That would have been like I know, a, right? a tragedy. It would have been a problem. Yep. Uh, let's see. Sean Bean talked about Braden in the house. Uh, MB Dyson, Nickel Wise, <laughs> one quarter scale man, XO6 scale mafia in the house. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and we got Ox Daddy too. Xander said, great cape. Uh, Andrew James, uh, let's see, Philip the Fool, uh, Bo- John, or Nick's Collectible said, eight inches of snow here in NYC. Yeah, Maryland, we probably got something around that. Um, John said he got 20 to 22 inches of snow. Wow. Oof. Boston Collector said, yeah, hope the link up again soon. Sorry, I missed your first one. I'll be honest, that shoveling was terrible. Bad. My body feels like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally understand, man. No worries. We'll get you on here soon. Absolutely uh joe augustin uh yo what's up joe uh let's see avengers assemble i think that's it guys so with that said we're gonna jump into something that i know anthony's gonna be super thrilled about we're gonna talk about hot to- i just like mess with anthony we're gonna play uh talk about hot toys green goblin i figured that was announced actually right after the show ended last week so mm. and i know you guys have kind of gone through the different panels and talked about this um, but humor us and the people here just for a little bit longer to talk about this Green Goblin figure. So I'll start with you, Ox Daddy, on the bottom of the screen wow. here. What do you think about this Green Goblin, man? 
I think it looks good. I think it looks really good. I think I think there's things that this one does really good. I also think there's things that the third party one does really good. Um, I love the iridescence there on the helmet. Mm-hmm. I think it, yeah. I didn't realize it was that purple. I had to actually go back and watch the uh, uh, watch some of the scenes, but. Yeah, I think it looks great. I think um, I like the way that they did the the attachment to the glider, mm-hmm. how it's not just on the yeah. seat like the third party one was. It actually clips to the body. Um, yeah, I think it looks good, man. I think the pole looks comically large, but I think you have to do that to get that support right. both on the glider and on the figure. But um, I think it's really going to come down to how durable is the suit because uh, right. the paint and the sculpt look fantastic. I think if they can nail that in the portrait, I think it's going to be a slam dunk. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's definitely, like, I would assume some kind of, like, pleather material for some of it. So, um, yeah. but it does it does look really nice. And even, like, you could see on the helmet there, like, they got some speckling going on and weathering and things like that. So, uh, and the gold in the eyes, it's, like, super vibrant. Mm-hmm. And very, very much pop. So, uh, KG, what do you think about this goblin, man? Is this something you're going to pick up? Will, you know me. Come on now. <laughs> I, I mean, do, this man. is... I shouldn't even I mean... <laughs> I grew up with Tobey Maguire. I grew up with those films. I grew up with the Green Goblin. And I know some people don't love this rendition of Goblin when it comes to the costume. Mm-hmm. I know that uh, Anthony has his reservations for the Tobey Maguire trilogy, but that's okay. Um, but honestly, for me, it's 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 an amazing piece, man. I mean, the entrance in the theater, man, when he came, right when when he was laughing and you know, he threw that pumpkin bomb, I people were screaming in the theater. I got up, I was just, it was like a standing ovation, you know, it was like, it's like, he's back, you know, he's finally back after 20 years. And yeah, dude, I mean, this is a great figure. I mean, for people who own the, the, uh, Toys Era version, if I'm right, Toys Era, um, yeah, yeah, Toys Era. that version is great. I, I, I don't see the need of buying a second version. That's hot toys. Now for me personally, I haven't had experience with the Toys Era, so I don't know if the body is good compared to a hot toys quality body i know and i know i think leo you do own one right i believe mm-hmm. so right yeah so um i think for people like leo who do own that version i just don't I, to me personally i don't see the need of owning this um i think you know uh, if you have that version I, there's no need to sell it because it's the same just the only thing the only really big difference is the the uh, glider the glider's really a huge difference compared to the original one um but yeah dude i mean look they're gonna make another one and i'm gonna pick up that one as well because i just i love this version of goblin i know some people don't but i love this version of goblin i don't mind having both uh there are certain characters i don't mind doubling on uh for 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 certain characters so for me and it comes with the head sculpt i mean this is uh, we don't know what the head sculpt looks like but from that side shot that we see Mm -hmm. it it looks good uh i mean that that profile looks like william defoe um and i hope it comes out well you know and i think People were like wondering, oh, they're worried that Hot Toys will ruin it. I just don't think so. I mean, after the whole Ant Man and the Tony Stank debacle, they're they're starting to get their game on, you know, with, with some certain figures, right? So, I think you know this is going to be a figure that that's going to be an it's going to be an amazing piece. I think it's going to be the best one of the best figures of 2023. Um, for this figure, uh, you know, with with the glider, because for me personally, if you're not going to get the glider, just don't get the Goblin. As simple as that. For me. If I can't get the, the the one with the glider, then I'm not getting the goblin because 98% of the time throughout the comic books and also in the movies, we do see him with the glider, right? That's what he's known for. That's what the character's known for, right? So, for me, this is a must-have. This is a day one pre-order. I had to, I had to have this in, in, in the collection. So yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Yeah, yeah, I totally understand that. So KG and uh, yeah, I, I'm with you for the most part. Yeah, I do think there's an amazing figure, and for sure, there's some great points. Layal, fill the people in on your uh, thoughts on Green Goblin, if you would. Um, first off, can you can you solo me real quick? Because I'm doing yeah, this with all fathers you, here. I'm 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 coming at everybody next next time. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> call them out, at, bro. I'm calling everybody out because I have a right to call everybody out because I got done dirty with all those banes. But I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm coming. I'm me, Diana are coming at everybody. The next, I'm just letting you know that right now, just to put you on blast. I don't care anybody from collecting weekly listening, anybody that's in it. I'm coming for y'all and come with those banes because I'm coming in hot. I don't care how dope y'all are, I'm still coming at y'all. Okay, you're gonna solo me. So, got you, bro. Yeah, got you. so, love to see it. <laughs> um, no, um, <laughs> when, it, when it comes to this piece though, literally, it's it's hot. It, that's the thing is, it's like I don't want people to kind of miss interpret what i'm saying like this thing is incredible it's, it's an incredible piece you know for everybody who um 
who's getting it, you know, they're going to have an incredible work of art. I mean, because we're talking about, um, you know, Hot Toys, the quality of work that they put out. Um, and my, my problem is not with the the piece itself. It's not what potentially what we know Hot Toys can do. My problem is with timing. Mm. You know what I mean? It's with how they basically went ahead and released it now. Now I understand that they're doing it because of the actual film, but there was opportunity before. Now, it w- would it have been good back then? Probably not. So it is innovative. I already have the Toys Era version, so this is a figure that I don't really need. The only thing that's enticing about it is the simple fact that the glider itself yeah. does have the LED light-up feature. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's spectacular. That's amazing uh, about it. Um, it is something to think about. But me, I want the other version i want the hobo version that's what they want to call it Mm -hmm. i want the version with the hood um you know him and just the head sculpt because again that's the version we got 80 percent of the film you know we only seen this this version like maybe all of you know i would say together like 30 seconds or a minute or two minutes if that um but again i want the other version because that would actually complement my collection i don't necessarily need this I think that they should have actually shown the head sculpt, but, you know, it is what it is. They probably fine-tuning a couple things, so it's going to make it better. But I just mean myself. There's, here's the thing. There's, there's no wrong way about this. You can get this version or you can get the Toys Era version. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's a win-win. The Toys Era version you'll actually have sooner. Um, this version yeah. you'll have down the line, but it's still going to be an amazing piece. I just mm-hmm. mean yeah. me myself, I don't need this one. But if they release the other version... I'm definitely all in. I like the paint apps on it. I like the detail. The only one of the biggest gripes that I have about this that I've had with pretty much every figure that comes with this dynamic stand. Oh my god. It's yeah. Okay. Number one, it's not sturdy enough. It is not. Yeah. I don't care what you basically think. This stand is not sturdy. A sturdy. It's gonna pop out. Nope. You know, mm-hmm. you're gonna have issues with it. I don't like how they do it. Like they need to really get more innovative with those stands because literally once you put it in, it's, it's going to be rough. It's going to be a tad yeah. rough. So they probably want to rethink that process other than that. And it's too small. It's too small to hold the too weight small. of everything that's, that's here. So they kind of need to rethink and revamp that. But other than that, it's an amazing looking piece. It's just not something for me. So that's, that's all. Yeah. And uh, one thing too, is that if people, don't have the money to buy another goblin. They could just go buy the uh, the glider by itself on eBay or something like that. And mm-hmm. they're just like, oh, there's a new goblin glider that they can put on. Definitely. Yeah, and Doc actually is very philosophically consistent because his comment is in the very right-hand side on the Facebook post and the same comment here. Mm-hmm. Doc, you're a consistent man. But Leo, mm-hmm. great thoughts on that. Seriously, everyone. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Anthony, what do you think about this, um, this green goblin here? Well. <laughs> well, you don't like Sam Raimi trilogy, do you? No, but listen, even but if you I like did, this film. Yeah, you like this one. Yeah, like, here's the thing, though. I, in my opinion, okay, it looks good. It's cool that there's a head sculpt. I'm not I'm not dismissing all the good things about this and the glider, mm-hmm. but $375 after tax and shipping is going to be like $420, $430. So I'm spending over $400 on, you know, something that's going to frustrate the hell out of me with this base. Because like Lael said, it's too, it's 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 going to be too flimsy. It's, it's going to be top heavy. So I'm looking at price wise. I'm paying over four hundred dollars for a single jointed figure that I'm going to have some difficulty with. I just feel like it's too expensive. That's mm-hmm. my only thing. That's I feel like it's too expensive. I mean, I get it. Like we can say this is the world that we're in now, and we can accept it. But I think for four hundred dollars, like we're approaching that Iron Man diecast territory. And, yeah. you know, by itself, I know it's like $100 cheaper, you know, without the right. glider. So is is the glider worth $100? That's that's the question, right? right. Um, if you don't care about the price point, then, yeah, I think it's cool. It's, it's cool that they're finally doing one. But, again, I think a lot of people already jumped on the Fiend, you know, the third party. Right. Maybe not everybody. Yeah. And, and even if they did, I get it. Sometimes it's just like. Okay, so Hot Toys is like, you know, the the Cadillac, you know what I mean, of the figures. Yeah. So if they're like, oh, I can get an official Hot Toys version of this, then I'll, I, I totally understand people wanting to jump on it. But for me, I just think $400 for a figure that I'm not too invested in, that's too much money, bro, for me. It's yeah. going to be a pass for me. Dude, if anything, I think they should have just, they should have just updated the base. You know, like what Doc says, it gives the diamond base. It's much more sturdy. It's much more bigger. 
I mean that that's that diamond base. I was like, I was like, what? For yeah, three seventy five, you're, you're giving no, us a diamond it's, base. It's a loose I mean, situation, though. Because yeah. they know we hate the diamond bases. Because how much space they right? That's true. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So then it's kind of like you can't. You, either way, you can't please us, right? Because then right, if they right. gave us the diamond base, we'd be like, damn it. That's this the is thing is, but I'm I'm willing to sacrifice space to exactly, get the right yeah. base. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's if if Personally you gave too, us the yeah. right. Because the thing is, as top heavy as it is, like say for instance, if you can't fit this in the detail and you want to put it on top, right? You you can't because you can't trust the simple fact of whether or not it's going to be sturdy. Enough. And then on top of that, not even just to stand like, uh, I don't have them over here, but the other versions that I, like for instance, I'll give you an example. Like this is the Justice League version, okay? Mm. Now with this stand and the way it is, look how like literally this thing broke off. I had to glue it on the inside because it wasn't yeah, sturdy. It doesn't screw in. It's a it's a terrible problem with this. I have the same problem too. Like literally, it's so loose. So the thing is, it's like if you want to get the dynamics of having it in flight mode, you can't. You know what I mean? So I, that's the only thing that I think they need to evolve on is those stands. They need to give them a tad bit better, or at yeah. least give us two versions. One, if you want to keep it like a certain way, I mean, there's certain ways you can do it. I just I don't know. Maybe it's just just me yeah. griping, and maybe nobody else that's has sad. to have that problem with it, but. Oh, that's how I feel and like it's bring, that's a general concern. Sorry. Because if it's yeah, topples over, gonna you're going to be upset. I mean, right. yeah. Clearly. Yeah, I mean, going back to the loose thing, I have this homemade studio, and you can see it's like wobbling too. This thing is just, it's like, it's mm. not, it's not Mine sturdy broke, enough. As yeah, I can see fact, your KG. bottom piece is coming yeah. out a little bit. Yeah, Mine snapped yeah. completely mm -hmm. out of that figure, that exact figure. Mine snapped. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's just like, it's, it's not sturdy enough. So I think they should have, the, with, with the price range that we're going for, and I agree with Anthony, I think, you know, for something like this, it should have been at least like maybe at the max 320 or 350 between that price range. Because if it was more than that, I don't know, man. I mean, I mean that base alone is just like for 375, they could have done better. You know, mm -hmm. at least for 375, they could have made our money's worth for something more at least. You know, something that we feel like our price, uh, we 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 spent well. You know, for a base like that, it's just it's yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, it's I just a little mean. pricey for me. That's all I'm saying. Like, I, no, I, I know sense. we all love hot toys, but also keep in mind, like, try to think, you know, think like when you feel like maybe you're getting screwed. You know what I mean? Because we're going to mm -hmm. buy it if we love it. But then it's like, damn, you guys, are, that's that's a lot, man. I could, I could yeah. buy an Iron Man for like $20 more. Yeah. You right. know, and that's that's a huge jump, in my opinion, you know, when you're going for a die cast figure. Um, in all that jazz that comes with an Iron Man, you know, it's like I think it's just the glider. The glider is the expensive part. Clearly. Yeah, it's like ninety bucks yeah, more because the figure is like two eighty five without it. But you know, that's pretty typical. And nowadays. I think that's yeah. good. But that's why I'm right. like, damn, a hundred dollars for a glider? That's right. Yeah, it's a lot. I don't know because I think it's the, those LED light up functions. They always tack on money for that. So anything that has right. an LED light up is gonna charge. Fifty six, you know, thirty forty dollars minimum. Still battery powered though, right? You know, it's not, yep. It's not USB. And hopefully, it's you not know, those small batteries, but it probably is most likely. Right? So. Yeah, most likely. Those you know, I, somebody brought up the idea that if they're going to do the hobo loop, they're going to not going to give us the glider. Then that makes you to go buy this version so you can get the glider. Um, I, I don't think they I think will do that. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think they will. I think it's just like, oh, you know, just you know, because it. it it wouldn't make sense, right? I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna give us a, a, a hobo uh, goblin without a uh, without a glider, it would just won't look good. If you have both mm -hmm. these guys, you have one flying and one just you know without a glider, so it doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's interesting I think, too. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead, Anthony. I think I was just gonna Zach. say to oh. be fair, I would get the hobo version. Yeah, that's fair. It's different. You know. But go ahead, Zach. Yeah. Sorry. I think the price of the glider is pretty irrelevant. I mean, they could have charged 150 and it's like people are still going to have to buy it. Either you mm -hmm. track down the Toys Air one or yeah. you have a yeah. goblin without a glider. So, you know, they could have right. charged 150, 250, like regardless of what the price is, like yeah. This is going to be the one to get of the two. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because the Hobo one for sure is going to be a, a great one for a lot of people. But I think if most people have to choose one Goblin, they're still going to go with this one. Um, despite I the agree. fact that his role, he really was not in this costume very much at all in the film. Like, right. He was in the new one. But I think most people who love the Raimi trilogy and just this is the iconic look for Goblin. Um, so yeah. they are going to flock to this, but I get what you guys are saying. Like Leo, it makes perfectly good sense in his case. He already has one he loves. Why not just get right. the other version, get the hobo mm -hmm. version? Cause that's different, right? Mm -hmm. Why get the I same think... version twice if he already loves the one he has, mm -hmm. you know? Right. And I think there should have been a movie promo edition of anything. I mean, I think they should have made limited of these because mm -hmm. in the film, you only see it for like two minutes. 
that's how you only see the suit for two minutes. I think if they yeah, would have made a reason it, why they did this, because we are going to most likely get it. Right. Of course. Yeah, a lot of people are going to buy this. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. Yeah, just yeah. Perfectly fit together. And then they'll like, buy the it. second one, too. So well, I mean, buy. it makes it makes perfectly good sense for them to do it in general because they've never done it before. Right. I mean, they've never mm. yeah, they've never done point. this version before. People have actually because regardless if Toys Era made one, people waited and held out on that version to get something like this in hopes yeah. that they would do it. And they fulfilled, you know, that that end of it. They actually did and released it. And, you know, for them, I'm happy for them. You know what I mean? I'm happy yeah, for anybody that can actually get it. it. Just just hopefully, you know, the figure stands you know, the test of time and it, you know, it does what it's supposed to. I mean, look, I have the toys there. I love it. There's no reason for me to actually go back and get another version, but um, it's not to say that this piece isn't decent because it is. I I, I love it. I'm just not going to get it. You know, it's all. Well, yeah. the timing's perfect too, right? Because mm-hmm. people thought about that before. And, I, and I've said this in the past that like you had the toys there, a version, but hot toys didn't need to flex. They, there was no competition, you know? Right. So now that the movie's out, that's that's the other thing I think people are overlooking is this is Hot Toys. You know, that it is. They're puffing their chest on this one. They're like, hey, look, okay, yeah. now we're going to put it out. Now we have a reason to compete with it, and we're going to do it better. You know, and, But and you know what? To, you know? Even with that basically being said, though, they're still going to get hurt a little bit. And the reason why yeah. is because Toys Era re-released theirs. Right. They did a re-release right. of that particular version, and it's coming out in a few months. You know what I mean? And with Doc, too. And with Doc. They did the same thing. So it is, like, for people who want it, they can actually get it now. So it does, regardless if they want to say, nah, it's not going to, it is going to hurt them still because people want it now. They see that, you know, a lot of people do have it. You know, a lot of people do love it. So, uh, I mean, even still, like, it's, I mean, it's good that they released it, but it's still timing with them. They should have capitalized this on this a long time ago. Hell, they should even release this when, Toys Era decided to release one. They did the same thing with cable, and yeah. people yeah. want that cable. Yeah. So they should have took the opportunity to do it, not even knowing at that time that he was going to be in this film. It would have still been a, a win-win for him. So yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It, it must it's have still been hurt something a with bit. Marvel or Sony. But because yeah. I'm, I'm just confused why. Yeah, you you make a good point, Leo. Like if they already showed Goblin in the trailer at that mm-hmm. point, like why why not just put one up for pre-order? Because yeah. Maybe it wasn't done yet. I would. That's maybe my assumption. Like Hot Toys is so overwhelmed with trying to keep up with everything, they probably mm-hmm. just didn't have one ready to show yet. Um, yeah. That could be my like. You know, it's the same thing like Leo with Kate Bishop and Hawkeye. Where are those? It's because they're overwhelmed and they haven't probably yeah. gotten to them yet. Um, yeah, true, true. You know, true. Loki and Sylvie took a couple months, right, before yeah. the show, after the show ended. So you know, it's yeah, yeah it's the same that's thing true. that happened. I think they're just behind. I, I just I just think that they're they're missing a lot of opportunities. Like, I mean, come on, like Hot Toys, where's my ox father with the mic? Like with basically to <laughs> attach him. I mean, I need that. Thank I you. mean to Don't have that, so, so. you know, with the mic and if you basically push a button it says levels please, levels please. I mean stuff <laughs> popping, like that would be popping. incredible, bro. Mario's beard, we need that. Oh, yeah, 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 come on, man. Come on. I mean yeah. to that point, uh Leo mentioned uh cable. The mm-hmm. cable from Hot Toys was shown July two thousand twenty. Mm-hmm. So I mean, yeah. just because this is shown today, like there's no way this is coming out anytime soon. Mm-hmm. People are going to be able to get the first Toys Era version or the second and be able to enjoy that for at minimum a year, two yeah. years maybe before yeah. this one ever yeah. Yeah. This thing ain't coming. I mean, that's probably going to get delayed too, right, right Zach? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it, I mean, it, it's coming out Q2 of next year at best. So it's yeah. probably Q3 of next year minimum. So you're Definitely. probably looking September yeah. or something like that, mm-hmm. you know, um, yeah, of next year. That's mm-hmm. the best case. Because even then, that's what, a year and a half? That's probably pretty good for Hot Toys nowadays. Mm-hmm. I mean, Pennywise mm-hmm. took almost three years. So, oh, I mean, me you know. Yeah, exactly. And there's so many in Battle Damage 85. That was Loki. an anomaly, though. Yeah, but uh, a lot of figures are taking two plus years nowadays. Yeah, I mean. Well, I mean, only because of the whole situation back with QMX. And then when gotcha. Howard Chan was brought to the booth and they saw QMX making one, it was like, oh, hell no. That's We're going to make story. it. Yeah. It is. It is. And, then, and he was like, we're just going to make it. And I don't even care when it's released, but we're gonna make it. You know what I mean? Because mm. he was he was like, "Oh, oh, you're not making that." Because it looked it looked really good. I showed you that the prototypes right. for that at QMX. So that was a weird one. That's why I think it took like three years because they don't do horror. He just wanted to do it. Yeah, this was right. like I'm sticking yeah. it to you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, it worked out for me because I got two of them, so I'm happy. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely. It's a great figure. Yeah. So, guys, let's move on to our next figure of the evening. And I think this will be one that's going to be pretty popular with the panel based on what I've already heard from you guys. Uh, good old Costco. Yeah. Costco Reeves came out of the blue yeah. here. So yeah. I'm going to start actually uh, backwards this time. So I'm going to go, Anthony, Costco Reeves, man. What's your, what's your thoughts on this one? 
if they're making Casca Reeves and Axe Wolves, that means they're making everything Mandalorian. Yep. That's that's what I think from this. Um, that aside, she looks phenomenal. It's phenomenal. I'm definitely picking her up when she comes out. I don't know if I'm going to day one her um, or I'm going to wait for Sideshow, but I'm definitely picking her up 100%. She looks phenomenal. That's one thing I keep talking about this past year or half a year anyway is that Hot Toys is nailing like sculpt after sculpt after sculpt and 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 hair, the sculpted hair. I keep mm-hmm. saying that. The sculpted hair really ties the room together, right? You know what I mean? When you see the whole mm-hmm. picture, you're like, God damn. See if I can get Loki looks up. great. Sylvie yeah. looks great. Fennec mm-hmm. looks great. You're just like, wow. And, and one of the things I notice is the hair. Seriously, mm-hmm. it, 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 it draws you in, and you see the whole picture right there. Now, whether or not this is what we're getting, right, because we always talk about that. Lael, you know, of course, knows too. You know, it's a gamble. Yeah. Are the prototypes going to be final product? I don't know. Or, you know, Bo-Katan, is that prototype going to be final? That one doesn't look as good. Then maybe mm-hmm. she's going to turn out great. This one mm-hmm. looks phenomenal. Maybe she gets a little softer at final product. I, you know what I'm saying? We never know. Uh, if this is what I get, I'm sold. This is phenomenal. Not only does the sculpt look great, I, the the color scheme on the armor itself, I love that that cobalt blue. I love yeah. how you can see it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not just like a, a matte a matte blue. Like we're getting yeah. all these different shades and dark dark colors in it. Different tones, all that weathering, yeah. the scratch, dude. It looks it's sick, bro. It's sick. I'm I'm sold. Sorry. I don't know if I'm biased because it's Star Wars, but no, no. I, it looks amazing, amazing, dude. I mean, you better stop gushing too much over. You know, Cameron. I'm fangirling, back there. bro. I don't know. What I'm gonna do. <laughs> Cameron's gonna Cameron, be highly Cameron, upset with you, Cameron, bro. You know what? She can just. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's been clingy lately. It's fine. She, she can, can deal with off. it, bro. Uh, yeah, but no, phenomenal for sure. Phenomenal. And this is why I'm usually in the in the realm of uh, sculpted hair versus rooted hair for hot toys because they do rooted good sometimes, but. It just depends on the figure, but more often than not, I prefer sculpted because you look at stuff like this, and you said Sylvie, and then you look at Loki. This and then wasn't you always look, the case. Not always, but like the rooted hair from Hot Toys can be very hit or miss. Uh, some of mm. them are really good. Some are like Black Widow Infinity War, not good. Um, so unless you take a lot of time to just cut, but you silent. can though. That's what I'm saying. You can do right. it. Even like that that Wonder Woman Golden Armor. I've seen you people get her hair time, looking right? really good already. Yeah, but that's but what I like with, back- with sculpted. You can just take it out of the box. Bam, looks great. Yeah, but like, look at Qui Gon. His hair's not that great. He's not that old of a figure. Yeah, he's, as an I mean, example, he's good. I think it's more the sculpt he, for me on that one. Yeah, but yeah, but, but I'm I just think saying, I think like, you can go the route of better. Yeah, you can go the route of for sculpted. Sure. Depend like for this, this doesn't need to be rooted. Like this particular because nah. it's you know the way she has it, he has it up. It doesn't have to be rooted. Um, you know, um, sculpted is the way to go with this particular figure. Wonder Woman, I can understand. And the thing is, again. I've had no problems with, you know, messing around with the hair. I've gotten it exactly the way I want it, and it's fine. Even with this one being, you know, rooted hair, I've been able to play around with it and, mm. you know, do it what needs to be done to make it work. Um, but, I mean, with that said, though, this piece, man, I mean, this is definitely a day one for me. Uh, I mean, it's 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 definitely a day one. I'm, I'm not waiting. Uh, uh, there's figures. I'm sorry. I'm just – I'm not – imagine everyone right now like literally right now and i'm not here here's the thing and i want to preference this by saying it's a certain way you don't have to follow anything that we are saying at this moment Mm. we're just telling you preferences and i'm just telling you my preference now i refuse to wait as long as i've had to wait for figures from sideshow right now literally and how much longer people are going to have to wait even now considering the simple fact that we are going into chinese new year so a lot of figures that they were supposed to basically receive before now, they're still waiting on them. So I refuse to do it, especially if it's fig- now if it's figures that I don't really care about and I can get later on down the line, then that's fine. But if it's something I know I want and I want now, this is why for this particular figure, I'm going day one. Other figures you don't have to, but I'm going day one for this because it's amazing. Considering the simple fact that we're getting Bo-Katan, Considering the simple fact that they are going to basically work on this head sculpt as far as bo head sculpt, because it is, you know, it was the prototype, so we're going to get a different version. I think they're going to fine-tune it, which I'm happy about. I want to have Casca with her. Listen, it's just a day one. I'm sorry. I cannot pass this up. Normally, I wouldn't. And Now, again, I decided to not to, not to pre-order. I just decided to buy it straight out because mm. I'm, not, I'm not sitting on it. I'm not paying anybody overtime, no. I'm paying it out, and so when it's ready, I'll have it because that's how much I love this figure. 
The head sculpt for me is a 10, a 10 out of 10. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's flawless. And basically for a character that, number one, representation. We talked about this all week. You know, to have, you know, an African-American character, you know, in the MC or in, 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 in the Star Wars universe and to look this great. I mean, Cosca Reeves, Sasha Banks, Mercedes, whatever you want to call her. Like, it's an amazing piece. I'm so glad they released it. Um, even when we thought, I mean, Will, how many conversations that we've had, we were like, yo, this is never coming out. Like, we right. were never, it's, we're never going to see it. We're never, it was a pleasant surprise. It was right. basically a pleasant su a surprise. I'm happy we got it. I can't wait to have it in my collection. You know, having something like this, also seeing something like Fennec, it just, it's so promising. And Hot Toys proves, no matter, we hate them or love them. And sometimes we hate them. And more times than many, we love them. But they are showing you why we love them so much because of what they can do and how they can produce figures like this and how well they've done it. Um, this is what we want. So, again, kudos to them. Kudos to Howard because you proved a lot of us wrong and in a big way. And I can't wait till this comes. Like, I'm, I'm all in for it. And if KG winds up in the next uh, season three, there's going to be a problem because I want my money. <laughs> But yeah, he might, right. bro. He might end up in season three. Right. But KG, yeah. tell us if you're going to be in season three and tell us your thoughts on uh, Costco Reeves, if you would. What? <laughs> he can't, he's got an he's got a, a NDA now. NDA, he can't talk about NDA. It, yeah. He can't say that. Yeah, he can't talk about it. KG, give us your thoughts on your uh, co-star, Costco Reeves. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, this is a, a surprise, but it was a welcome one for sure. I mean, I I, I had my doubts that this figure was going to come out, honestly, because mm -hmm. you know we when we think of Hot Toys, they don't do a lot of you know uh, African American figures, and this kind of gives me hope that we will be getting Electro hopefully, because yeah, I mean, this figure is beautiful, man. I mean, the head sculpt is a ten out of ten. If it turns out like this, it might be another Tamora Morrison figure mm -hmm. from the, mm -hmm. the two pack, and it's an amazing piece. I'm not going to pre-order just because right now it's sort of a – I want to play the waiting game for this one. And plus, you know, there are there are, there are other priorities right now that I have for certain figures. But she's definitely going to come in the collection. Like, no no doubt. She's going to come in the collection with Bo-Katan and with Axe Woes once we get to talking to him. Because for me, it's like – if I, it's the same with Goblin. If I can't get her, I won't even get Bo-Katan or anything like that. Because you got to have all three of them mm -hmm. together on the shelf. It's just like it's a, it's a thing for me. And, I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful piece. I mean, when I first – saw the announcement i was shocked at the announcement at first and it just looked beautiful the head sculpt and even the actress herself even posted on her story on instagram that she got a figure of her own and she kept posting it too every day she was like oh my yeah. god i can't got my own figure yeah, so yeah it was it, it's great when actors do that where they're engaged with also the toy community as well and they're looking at their figures it's just a great thing for uh for us as collectors to know that even the acts to who are signing their likenesses do uh you know uh, enjoy seeing these uh these toy products of themselves. I mean, this is, it's a great piece. I mean, the armor, the, the tailoring throughout the head sculpt, it's, it's, it's a beautiful figure. And, you know, it's, it's another star Wars announcement. And I mean, I'm, I'm sure everybody in the panel, we all love star Wars and, you know, we, I mean, Mandalorian and, you know, when, when they announced like things like Axe Wolves, we're going to get a Cobb Vanth. Yeah. We're going to get a Cobb Vanth and who knows, we might get a frog lady. Someone mentioned the frog lady. We might get a frog lady. And it's not, you know what? I, 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 I it's it's gonna happen either way i mean they're, they're going strong with the mandalorian line right now and i think i saw somebody saying they made i think 45 figures from this line yeah so it's about that, that, that yeah, it's I, a lot. I think that's i think maybe this is their biggest line ever i think uh from from Atos, if i'm not mistaken as, as far as the mandalorian that. line i think they said that um, and the force awakens yeah were the two biggest oh, oh really how many figures okay. they made yeah someone had said that but yeah All this right. one i think might be the biggest they've ever done yeah it's a lot yeah it's a beautiful piece, man. I mean, it, the head sculpt, like I said before, it's it's just Shasha, but Shasha, Sasha Banks right there, and then it's a right right there. So for me, it's it's a definite buy. Um, can't wait to get it once it comes out. So, dude, it looks great. I'm with you guys. So, Ox Daddy, fill us in Yo. on Casca Reeves. What's your thoughts? I like it a lot, <laughs> but I think the photography does not do it any justice. The bangs in the front. That crossing mm. the head looks so photoshopped like they look like they were added like <laughs> really? oh shit we forgot the bangs let's i don't know they just stick out very get, uh, they look very somewhere. unnatural in every single photo mm. uh but it looks great i think the body needs more padding um mm, okay, okay with all due respect sasha is thick with three c's and <laughs> i feel like they didn't really do her any justice <laughs> <with all> <laughs> <due> <laughs> <respect>. <laughs> but no this is great i think it's great i think 
you know, when we saw it, I think it was SDCC or like the sideshow at home conventions. Leo's I laughing. I know. This was, <laughs> this was one of those that, you know, it was, it was, I thought they would do it, but I didn't. I also could see why they wouldn't do it. So it's, it's great that they released this one and Axe, but yeah. I think they kind of did Axe dirty by not doing a portrait. I think that's <laughs> shameful. Yeah. It's shameful. But yeah, no, this looks great. I think it looks great. And the sucky part thing too is that people want to do that uh, that poster shot, the all three of them, and right. with because they're all unhelmeted, right? You can see their 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 faces, but with X twelve, you just can't. Maybe with Will, you can put Pennywise on it, and there you go. You can have hey, your. Hey, uh, get two head sculpts. You might as well. Yeah. Might as well. I guess you know? I I guess I upset the chat. Braided head wrap. Either way, they look very photoshopped. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. No problem. So. So uh, let's address some super chats real quick before we move on to the next figure. Uh, Bob Dylan said, uh, "What's a good price for the Toys Air Deluxe Fiend?" Uh, given info, Leo might be able to speak to that one. Leo, what was it again? Say it again. Uh, the good price for the Toys Air Deluxe Fiend. Didn't you get yours like two eighty five? I like got that? mine for ooh, like two eighty five shipped, maybe. I think it was about two eighty five shipped. It was. Mm. It was definitely. It was. It was. It was cheap. It wasn't. You know, it was about two eighty five, and that was that was with the shipping. Correct. Yeah, right, wow. right. Yeah. And that and that's the price for the regular edition for the goblin from Hot Toys right, too. Right. Yeah. Hot Toys you're paying probably four fifteen out the door. Yeah, 4 yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I yeah. checked I, I when I pre-ordered mine I paid I, well the, the total was four twenty three. So yeah, it's about right. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So good question, Bob Dylan. Thank you so much, Bob Dylan. Amazing moderator. Carlos in the house. Carlos, I'm Bob so Dylan. Carlos is a Rams fan and they are struggling hardcore right now. So uh are they? Oh. I feel it's seventeen to seven Niners, yeah, at halftime. Shout out to the Bengals. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah I right. right. I was rooting for the Chiefs, but I like the Bengals too. So you know, I just like Mahomes. But uh, Carlos said, "Larry, I've been falling out of love from Star Wars. I'm not sure who Larry is. Carlos, you're gonna have to explain me, Larry, in the chat. Uh, thanks so much Lately. for the super chat. Mando is great. Everything else just doesn't compare to Marvel. Yeah, that's in, that's it's a hot take, uh, Carlos, because we got you get diehards on either side for sure. Like I know yeah, Anthony Marvel's and Leo moving like... more towards Star Wars and away from Marvel. Um, or at least Anthony is, but." Uh, MCU I love both. anyway. Yeah, I love both. But thanks so much, Carlos. You're yeah, I'm not going. I'm not going to say who's better. I mean, because basically they're they're both in my they're both great. Yeah. yeah, they're both I, even the DC man. I mean, DC gets a bad rep, but I think you know somebody brought a good point that DC has better characters, but in just some bad films. Mm. That's just it. I mean, they, they yeah. didn't show they don't show their full potential for DC with these characters, right? Well, Give me Wonder yeah, Woman, and I'm good. all in. Give me yeah. more one. I'll get every Wonder Woman they've ever actually produced. <laughs> yeah. Well, Leah, we're gonna have to talk more about the uh, the Batmobile, the Tumblr, because I keep looking at it and I'm like, I think. Oh I'm my god! Are you serious? You I already know you're gonna get it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get it. Yeah, yeah you're gonna. It's just a matter yeah. of time. Oh, it's going, it's, it's going, I love yeah. the Dark Knight, so I'm, I'm pretty much getting yeah. every hot, it's, it's going, hot yeah. toys cat. Um, yeah, just get it. Except well, Catwoman. Just, I, I don't know about Catwoman. I don't really care about Catwoman. Why are we just talking about this? I know. Will just go and get it. Will use my ten percent. Will just go and get it. I'll use KG's ten percent. Yeah, Will's gonna get it. Sean Sean Bean in that. House. I got space for it. Some people are saying she looks like Dominic Tipper. Who's Dominic Tipper? But I don't I see don't that. She's such bang. It's not a perfect scalp, but the scalp is a nine IMO. That's fair, Sean Bean. Is that yeah, not like a porn star? Good. Is it or something? Because like I don't. Want, I'm afraid to look it up. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, I I'm you. not gonna look it up. Yeah, yeah. Don't. Some Zach, you look it up. I'm on us. it. Oh, Anthony's on it. Sasha, what was it? Uh, Dominic Tipper. I don't know who that is. I gotta um, be honest with you guys. I really love actress. this figure. Yeah. Choosing the expense. Oh, British actors. Oh, I love this okay. figure too. It looks it's great. I'm pretty I'm no. pretty positive I'm gonna get this too. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I love this figure more than Bokatan. Yeah. That's I fair. just love That's this fair. armor. That's man. absolutely fair. It's, the sculpt it's, is better. It's really no good. Doubt. Yeah. The sculpt is Not just the sculpt, better. it's the armor. I love the helmet. I, I yeah. love the all blue helmet. It's just it's so great I already paid Bo up. I I don't we're yeah. we're gonna talk about next. I don't think I'm gonna get axe. Um but uh, I think I'm going to go with – I already paid off Bo-Katan, so she's All good. Right. But I think I'm just going to roll with uh, with uh, with, uh, with Casca and, uh, and Bo-Katan. With that said, that let's go ahead and move on to Axe um, because he is our last hot toy of the night to talk about. And Axe Wolves coming in at 235 from the U.S. retailer. So like you guys are talking about, no head sculpt on this one. So I want to start with Leal. Mm -hmm. Leal. Axe Wolves with the no mm -hmm. head sculpt thing is that like a deal breaker for you? What's your thoughts? No, nah, not at all, not at all, not at all. I'm I, I, like I said, I'm a completionist, so I have to have all three of them. It makes mm -hmm. more sense. Um, nah, it it doesn't. I mean, I, look, I mean, would I have wanted to wanted a head sculpt with this? Yes, I thought that they should have actually added it. You know what I mean? Because it made more yeah. sense. You know what I mean? Regardless, like it. 
I, 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 you know what thing I hate when 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 companies base the success of a figure off of whether or not it gets enough screen time, mm-hmm. like literally, because yeah. if we're thinking about it, like literally, before we got the book of Boba, how much screen time did Boba Fett have? Right, not much. Two exactly. Minutes, Thirty seconds. Exactly. Right. <laughs> Is so that true? We, Zach? I, Is that I hate. Yeah, it's it's pretty close to that. Yeah. It's wow. pretty like literally like he only had minimal screen time, but because of the popularity of the character, they still basically made it. I think the popularity of all three of these characters together, it would have made sense. I mean, give it a yeah. hand sculpt. Why not? I mean, people have a choice of whether or not they want to buy it. For God's sakes, you put out figures. You put out certain figures that have been, you know, book holders that are still basically occupying the shape. I mean, the shelf, you know, that aren't moving um, because you thought it was going to be successful. You know what I mean? Like, literally, I mean, just... Why not? But even still, regardless if 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 they don't give us a head sculpt or not, I'm I'm still gonna get this. Um, I actually love the armor. I know a lot of people compare it to uh, the Death Watch, um, you know. But still, to me, I, I think it's 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 it has its own place. I mean, if you look at it, like even with the split cut boot technology because a lot of people were basically complaining about the boots like you know they've been complaining about uh han solo's boots you know luke's Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um even the 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 death watch watch they were complaining about those boots as well you know with this it has that that split boot cut technology that they've used and i think it makes a lot of sense um i'm getting it i I like the color um I, i like what this this figure it represents as a team um so even if i have to put him in the back Still, I'm getting this piece because I, I think it, it deserves it deserves that. You yeah. know what I mean? And on top of that, I mean, one, I figured that I didn't think that we were going to actually get um, at all. And to have it, I'm, I'm definitely excited about it. Hell, if you if you if <laughs> if you want a head sculpt, buy another clone and just use that head sculpt and put it on. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you could. You know what I mean? Literally, you could. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm definitely yeah. excited about awesome, it. Awesome. And yeah, I'm yeah. with you, though. I, I didn't think it was going to get made either. But uh, so I'll hop to you on this one, Anthony. Is this is Axe Wolves for you? Is he is he going to be in your Star Wars collection? Yes. <laughs> um, you, had, listen, you hesitated though. You had to think about it. Well, because I'm trying to I try to think about my words sometimes before I say them. <laughs> uh, no man, fuck. But it. my first the first instinct is yes. Yeah right. right. Uh, I too am a completionist when it comes to this stuff, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't mind. Okay, the price good. No head sculpt good. You know, armor looks great. Helmet looks great. Like this is this is this is what I expect. Um, honestly, dude, and also, I don't even remember what the hell this guy looks like. I'm just being real. Like I don't think. Yeah. And I think I think in no offense to the actor, I just don't think he had enough screen time. Um, mm. in my opinion, to to really even warrant that. And then it's like, okay, do you want a 230, you know, so, you know, price tag, or do you want like upwards of almost 300 price tag? Mm-hmm. You know, after they've already hit us with with the two announcements already you know we already have we have fennec and then you know <clears throat> Costco. so it's like i think that's fine and and i yeah, can't yeah. speak for everybody but if yeah. you're into mandos um they look cool with the helmets anyway and granted mm-hmm. you know the, the 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 females their sculpts are phenomenal so it's like okay we're gonna probably want to rock those but but you know what i'm saying like i think this is good for the price he looks like a more beefier pissed off you know death watch mm-hmm. i'm digging it um and again dude the price is great and he's yeah. he's gonna be right right there in like two years exactly yeah so you know yeah yeah and it's right awesome. you're right though like there if when I, when I saw this and i saw costco that's really the first thing that came into my mind i was like then they're they're gonna make everything mm-hmm. yeah they're gonna they make are everything. because they know they can sell it though. lady but yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't no, be surprised. Just, I, wouldn't be I don't be surprised if Frog Lady pops up as an accessory with something. Yeah. That's what I, I wouldn't be surprised. Say. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Yeah. No, it'll be like a little two pack Frog yeah. Lady and Grogu or something. Yeah, something mm-hmm. like they that. Because they love selling Grogu's. Yep. yep. Articulated. Mm-hmm. Or yeah. maybe yeah. Like, and they make another Mando and they're like, Mando and Frog Lady is an accessory. You know, <laughs> a two pack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Mando and Frog Lady two pack. My only complaint is I, I need a car Dune. And yeah. I think Hot Toys got enough yeah, to do that, it. Yeah. Just like, just I, I don't think they're going to do it. Her that. and Grief Karga and Mayfeld are the ones that are being left Grief out. Grief Karga. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah. But, I mean, I don't rule out even Cara Dune gets made. Um, I you don't know, either. Same with Grief. There's, there's, yeah. I it's mean, Mando. So. And it'll sell regardless. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. it'll yep. just sell. So, and I, and to be fair, I was disappointed in the premium format Cara Dune. I, I, yeah, I had I it. Too. And I canceled it as soon as they did their. Uh, they had like a two minute, you know, kind of reveal video on Sideshow like last month. And I was like, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and I'm out. I, I tapped out, bro. I just didn't. Yeah. It's ugly, my opinion. Yeah. So I was like, as much as I love her, I'm like, eh, my yeah, Black right. Series will do for now. <laughs> Maybe you know she I mean? and Disney will be able to work it out one day, but. I, I just don't think it's going to happen too soon. Yeah. Yeah. No time but, soon. Ox Daddy, give us your thought on Axe Wolves, man. What do you think? I think you should have had a portrait. I think the whole thing about <laughs> yeah. this plan was that they take their helmets off. And if you're going to have Casca and uh, Bo Katan without the, the helmets on the shelf, yeah, I think it's a shame. I think the difference between Axe and Casca is $35. I think most people would have been happy to pay $35 to have that option on the shelf. Sure. Um, you know, he's not some faceless Mando like heavy Mando that, you know, won't ever take his helmet off or armor. So mm-hmm. I think it's a shame. I know he's not like, you know, the greatest actor. Like, you know, he might not have that fan appeal for the actor like Sasha Banks. But um, I, I think it's a really short sighted decision for them not to do that. And and I agree with Leo. I don't think time on screen has anything to do with it. Yeah. Um, you know, if you think about it, the goblin in that costume with that, you know, get up probably had less screen time than Axe. And I know that's a more important character, but um, I just think because he's that kind of Mando, it would have made sense to, to do the portrait and, you know, well, I, I, I won't be adding any back? of, well, I mean, if what, they never, yeah, I mean, what if Sasha Banks's character never comes back or, mm, you know, I'm point. sure we're going to yeah. see, you know, any, I guess you could make that argument for a lot of characters, but I, I'm not saying that he's the most important character that he deserves a portrait, but I think, I just think it would have been nice. Yeah. Yeah. You know? It would have made yeah. sense. It would have made sense because like literally aside from the last, you know, episode that we got uh, with the rescue on season two of Mando at b- besides that point, up until that point, they had both had equal screen time. You know what I mean? Right. So it made sense you know what i mean i mean lucas films was luckily i mean they were gracious enough to put his head sculpt on a poster all three of them so why we're not getting one with this one i mean hey but still to pay homage to the figure i'm getting it plain and simple i'm going well, to get i mean it. ideally yeah you guys are right if, you if, know if I mean? we can get a head sculpt with every release that would be that would be awesome but hey anthony let me ask you a question where are you sitting right now as far as the subscriptions uh how many subscribers? We got we got to check that, guys. We got to get Anthony to a thousand. He's so close. Was it where are you at right now? Nine hundred and twenty. Nine hundred and twenty. So basically, 80. you need eighty. So we need if whoever's basically watching right now, eighty subscriptions for uh, uh, Six Scale Mafia. And if you do, again, like we said last night, you get an autographed picture of Brother Cousins um, in both <laughs> the uh, Han Solo get up and also just. And and a baby, you get actually exclusive baby for the for, for the first sixty, you get exclusive baby oil version. Hey, so it's true, bro. So wow. let me right here. <laughs> that would be the baby oil yeah, version. That would oh, be awesome. brother cousins came prepared. Let me oh, let me show the people. Oh wait, oh <laughs> that nice, fancy, and it baby will oil. be autographed. Nice, nice. I love hey, that. that'll work. And I got that IG eleven that's going to somebody. Yeah. As soon as you know what I mean, I'll do that. I'll do I'll do it on the stream. You know, we'll do a random comment on that video so yeah man it's close man it's close uh, i'm gonna win it anthony so. i'm gonna win it bro yeah, you can win it i don't care you can, <laughs> people yeah, are gonna get mad about winning <laughs> they're gonna it's be like random this you can do whatever you guys want with it keep it, sell it, 20 after it. The stream. yeah i'll, I'll slip i'll slip my 20 i'll slip my 20 uh so before we get to brother cousins on <laughs> axe wolves here uh i want to hit spice runner's comment so spice runner thank you so much for the super chat he said Kara won't get made unless she comes back when she was fired the license was pulled with black series and funko disney shut it down yeah quick. So, wow. yeah, maybe there's some legal ramifications involved That's true. there. So, but I mean, you know, hey, uh, Marvel and James Gunn worked it out. So, it's a little right. bit different circumstances, obviously, but, you know, it is possible. So, remind me, we don't have a Grief Carga Hot Toys solicitor nope. yet, right? No, no, no. I don't no. understand how not we, even a prototype. Of, the th- yeah. of like the most three popular characters from yeah. season one. Right. Don't have figures. And the, and the thing that's crazy, you know, Hot Toys long, long time ago did the Rocky did the Rocky line and they yeah. did an Apollo Creed. So I'm like, Yeah. Did oh, they, they did. did. Yeah. Just so it's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's it's crazy that we don't have a grief car guy at, at yeah. Least. yeah. Yeah. I don't rule it out though it's at all. Licensing, especially for Mando season three, and especially since they're making everything Mando. I mean, he he's mm-hmm. due. So, yeah. you know, him him and uh, Mayfeld would be, and, and Cobb Vanth would be the next three. 
So, yeah, absolutely. You know. Um, See, now so, yeah. I would be pissed if I didn't get a Timothy Oliphant head sculpt. Uh, you will. You'll we see. have. That's, that's, we that's will. If they yeah. don't, that's different than Axe Wolves. Yeah. 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 Especially if he shows up in Book of Boba next week. How I dare mean, you. so. You know, well, I'm just you saying. I I really enjoy him <laughs> in Justified, and I really enjoyed him in Deadwood. He's he's a good actor. He's good in the office. Too. Too. You know, not that the other guy All isn't. Night. Terrible. Can't I know. Portray, shameful. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad at you right now. <laughs> That's like one of the worst characters. What? <laughs> Uh, Danny the Cordray. Yeah, oh, the, the office. dude, but he was he was good at being terrible. That's the thing. Like, <laughs> oh, the office. You, you love yeah, to hate terrible. him. Yeah, Shameful. exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of like Will Ferrell's character. But brother cousins, what do you feel about oh, this ass God. wolves, man? First off, thanks for joining us. I know you had a, a tough day. You were shoveling snow. I'm assuming, right? Dude, oh my God, that's one of the things, man. My see, my house. Like it's 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 messed up because all my neighbors they have like their the sun is hitting their houses right across the street the sun rises on the back of my house so all mm. the ice and all the soap was still there from yesterday just yeah. didn't melt so I was shoveling and scraping and when it's like a thin layer of ice is harder to break up so yeah but yeah, pain in the ass yeah so I was yep. shoveling all that stuff today you will you know my pain I do <sighs> I'm a Marylander yeah. I know how it is damn Merlin. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway man this figure right here i, I mean i want it in my collection mm. i definitely want it in my collection i think it looks good i love the gun i love the gun metal uh beskar armor i love i mean he's like a bulked up uh death watch we i think we all have said that we've been saying that all week i like the belt i mean looking at that belt that belt is i mean that's like the the Luke Bell from the Bespin outfit right there. It's like he has so many pieces of Star Wars all around him. And he's a Mandalorian. So it looks cool. And to have uh Cosca Reeves and to have Bo Katan, you know, on you know, on the side of him, or you know, have that you want that trio. So not having them, you're kind of it's kind of gonna feel like you're missing something. But I do understand understand if some people don't want him because he wasn't in that room <laughs> right. with Luke at the end. You know what I'm saying? He kind of was like, he was just missing. He was missing an action in that last episode. And that's probably why we didn't get a head sculpt from him. So I can mm. understand why some people don't want to buy him. I'm still thinking that, I'm still keeping hope alive. And I know it's a stretch, and I will say it's a stretch, but maybe we will get a, a head sculpt from him. I mean, I, it depends on what deal they work with with the actor. Looking at that price, it doesn't look like that because it's a two hundred and thirty-five dollar figure. When did we get a you know when Hot Toys right now right. with S sculpts are like two seventy-five, two eighty on the that's the regular twenty seventeen right Rogue One era. Yeah, yeah, those days are yeah. gone. Yep, for sure. I think way, also way gone. part of it is I don't know that they think this is going to sell particularly well, and the cost mm -hmm. to make a portrait is not. Not a negligible not expense. Cheap. Like that's, that's some of these my high theory sculptors. On I mean, but, but you're talking thing, twenty, I think thirty, forty thousand. They're see, worried about it selling at two seventy five yeah. or two eighty. Yeah, absolutely. But see, here's the thing. But what if it's just a peg warmer at two thirty five? Mm. I, I think mean, it just can... it'll cost them a lot less money if it does that. You He's know, too because that's unknown called. to do that and then say, oh, here's a two thirty five edition, and then here's like a two eighty five edition. Yeah, they're definitely so, not going to. Yeah, they're, they're, just, they're think, not going to do it. I think they, right they've they've learned their lesson because they learned their lesson from that atrocity that they released with Ant Man, thinking that that was going to actually sell, <laughs> and it didn't. Mm. Like they're still having a, a hard time with that figure, like straight up, like so. Right. And that's again, wow. and this yeah. yeah. and, and the Ant Man figure is a good figure. That head sculpt is yeah, just the head, the head sculpt, sculpt is sucks, horrible, but, the, but the figure itself is amazing. You know what yep. I mean? So. Yeah. They're, they're learning with like certain figures like even to be quite honest like like figures like who i want to say uh rex even sat on certain like sites for a minute you yeah. know what i mean yeah. so yeah. again i mean like ox father's right like they they those head sculpts aren't cheap so they're probably just looking at the simple fact that yeah you know even though if we did make one you know, is it going to actually sell, um, mm -hmm. you know, or will it sit for a while? So, I mean, I, I, I can definitely understand that. But then again, still, they're not giving them a fair go to or even a chance to figure out if people mm -hmm. will. Because I'm pretty sure when people saw it, I mean, even when they saw it basically released during the um, Sideshow Con, people wanted it. They were yeah. like, oh, I can't wait. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Ho ho hopefully, I mean, they would rethink the process right now with price, though. It ain't, they may not. 
Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I think you guys all have really good points on this one for sure. I definitely, that's my theory at least. I mean, who knows? All speculation. But, you know, I, I think it's because they're worried about him selling at 270, 275. And, you know, the head sculpt is expensive. Like you guys mentioned, you're adding $35, $40 on top at minimum. So, and it's Axe Wolves. Most people don't even, you know, unless you're a diehard, diehard like us, then like you have no idea who this guy is. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Like your average hot toys collector. Right. right, like Fennec, at least you would pretty much have a pretty good idea, especially because of yeah. Book of Boba. But in, in Costco, well, I yeah. mean, they're well known. Right, I mean, they're extremely well known. But Axe yeah. Wolf, and did they ever explain why he just disappears? Was something with the actor or something? Or I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I guess they wanted to give uh, episode or the the final episode that moment. Um, yeah. You know, with, right? You know, like the, the, uh, the female moment. Yeah, yeah with the female just, moment. I guess they wanted to do that. I mean, it's not. Moment. Yeah, and it was a it was a dope moment. I loved it. I mean, I I, I love what it, what they gave us with it. But I think they could have fulfilled something totally different with Axe. Maybe sent him with Mando or something like that. Right. I they don't know. Did, but but then they wanted to give Mando that moment too. So that's what kind of yeah. makes it hard. Right. He had nowhere um, to fit in. Yeah. It was written it's, out. Exactly. So he was just written out of that episode. But I think you know there might be a possibility we could see him again, or we might see somebody totally different. I'm not sure. I don't I don't know what they're gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely a cool figure overall. Did I get everyone's thoughts on this or about uh, okay. you, you think, you think Oh, KG, fine. KG. So give us your thought on Axe Wolves, bro. Yeah, no, it, it's, um, I think for 235, it's basically a Death Watch, just a repaint version of Death Watch, which the Death Watch figure is amazing. Um, yeah. I know, I know Leo mm -hmm. has it. I know he has, you know, he owns two of them. Two, um, one more coming, baby. One more coming. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting okay. three. I'm getting three. Damn. That's what I'm talking Yeah, about. it's That's a great piece. This. What you say? Three Death Watch Mandos. Yes, I love them. Oh, nice. Okay, I love them, bro. I love yeah. that figure. That 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 figure literally made my top five of of twenty twenty one. Nice. It literally nice. did. That's it's how much I love. It's two thirty five, so it's palatable. Yeah, it's like incredible. You, it's right. incredible. Love it. Yeah, but no, it's a great piece, man. I mean, with the whole thing with the head sculpt thing, honestly, I don't mind it. Uh, just because for two thirty five, I mean, if it was two seventy, it would be hard to sell. Two thirty five, it's an easier pill pill to swallow for many people just because it's a character that wasn't really well known i mean we only saw him in one episode and when Casca and uh bo -Katan came you know for the latest the, the latest episodes uh later episodes they he, he didn't show up and i don't know if he got killed or something something happened to him but um i just don't think it's a character that a lot of people would pay for 270 for i, I just don't see it happening um this figure is great i mean it's it's to me, it's the upgrade version of a Death Watch for two thirty-five. It's, I mean, it's a great price. Um, I think it will. I think this will. Fig this figure will come out pretty soon. I, I, I know the uh, projectile date is April to June twenty twenty-three, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think this is gonna come out probably December of this year. That's what It'll I think. Come out December six of this year, early. April to June. Yeah, he, yeah. December. I doubt it would be hard for them to make. Yeah. It's a repaint version of the Death Watch Mando, so I right. mean, you gotta get him with the rest. It, like, this shot right here, you gotta get him. Uh, I think it's gonna be a shelf stealer for many people who do own, who are getting Bo Katan, who will soon be getting these these other two. It's just it's a must have. It's, a, it's definitely a shelf a shelf stealer. Um, I was very surprised that they did this because I would think that maybe Costco would be the most likely that they would do, but I didn't think Axe Wolves would be the same thing. It's the same thing like if you buy the Just League team. If you don't have the rest except for Cyborg, you just don't get the Cyborg. Or don't, don't, just don't get the uh, Just League figures. Mm. You have to own every single one. And it's like getting a car without a wheel. It just mm. It's like you got you to gotta get the wheel to complete the whole car, right? So for me, it's it's a must-have. I mean, for people who, who do have the Boku Tano order, you have to have these other two. But Costa uh, and Axe, even with, without the head sculpt, it can still work out. I think that there are many ways you can, you know, you could put the Ant-Man head sculpt on if you want to for like, you know, just for fun or, you know, for you in this case, Will, the Pennywise, you know, so, that would I mean, you could do with anything. Yeah, it's it's, it's versatile at this point, you know, you, you can break par parallels right here. So, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I'll be getting it in, in the collection for sure. I just not, my, just not a day one pre-order. That's it. Right. Absolutely. Well, he's yeah. also the same price. You know, he's the same price yeah. as Death Watch. They're both Death Watch. The same price as Death Watch. Yeah. The only difference, obviously, is that you know the these their faction the owls they're 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 much brighter blue right i mean when you yeah. compare <laughs> when you compare uh, this to the death watch that death watch is a very muted blue you know and you know comparison. what you know what you could do like literally it could be a it, it could it could be a, a gift and a curse but it could be more so a gift for a lot of people you know such as jetta who likes the army build yeah and mm. actually get a couple of these figures and put them behind both katan and and, sure. and Casca, and that would be crazy 
Um, not saying that you should do it. I'm just saying you could. <laughs> you but could. um, you could. yeah, no, nah, I, I I'm definitely getting them. I, I, I mean, I'm, and here's one thing too: if there's a really high demand for a head sculpt, I'm sure there's a third party out there or just a custom that will do a head sculpt, and people, yeah, you know, yeah. just be someone like that. So, yeah. Either yeah, way, it works true. for many people. So yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna put yeah. my ox father head sculpt once I get that custom made. Just put on. It. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> there you go. Fire. I'm get a waddle scrapyard, baby. Yeah, it's gonna be <laughs> guys. We got something unique to talk about tonight. So, oh, my really? fellow Lord of the Rings fans out there, which I think yeah, everyone on this panel is a pretty big <laughs> Lales is gone. <laughs> like, no, it's good. Like Lord of the Rings Not line, Prime line, One is line. tackling this Lord of the Rings line. You guys know, I think I've told you, my Sauron's supposed to be here Tuesday, so I'm super mm. excited uh, yeah. for that. That's the only one I think I'm going to be getting from this line. But they announced uh, this a while back, actually, at their uh, their showcase, Prime One showcase. But they finally put it up for pre-order. So you can see here $999 for this Gimli. Mm -hmm. um, it comes with like a Yurikai Berserker helmet, which is pretty cool. So, I, you know, I think it's the same scale, quarter scale. So uh, it's pretty cool looking. So and Gimli is a little bit tinier, obviously, than the rest of the other characters. But if we take a look at this figure in like the Orc, uh, the Ur Orkai there, That's and we crazy. have like the base with the flowing cape and yeah. the axe and like everything detail in this, uh, it's all sculpted with the beard and the hair and everything. So. This comes out at $999, which actually I feel like Prime One's doing pretty good with their pricing lately. Yes, Gimli's a little bit smaller than the other characters, but like the Night King and Jon Snow, they're both $999 as well, right? So they're they're doing pretty good. That's pretty good for a Prime One, to be honest. I mean, like you and Revan, uh, Leal, you and I know with Revan, right? He's mm -hmm. quarter scale, and with shipping, you're paying $1,300, $1,400 for that guy. Yeah. So I mean, like quarter scale prices are going up, and Prime One is definitely like uh, doing pretty good. I would give them credit for this, but. Uh, we'll we'll go with the the panel on this one, but brother cousins, what do you think about this uh, this Gimli? Is this something you would consider picking up? Are you a big Lord of the Rings fan or no? Um, I'm I don't I like Lord of the Rings. I love I'm not a, I'm not too much of a big fan of the Hobbit. I mm -hmm. do like the original Lord of the Rings movies. I, I like those actually a lot. I don't have any actually. Funny thing is, I actually had a lot of the swords back in the day, and um, I sold mm -hmm. an awful lot of those, um, just because it just stuff didn't fit my collection. Um, I currently don't have any of the Lord of the Rings stuff, but with that being said, I do appreciate it. I do um like it. My cousin actually has a couple of pieces that I really mm -hmm. like. Like he has the Legolas um that just came out. I think with him sliding down the stairs, he has that. He has that figure. A couple other things. Um, a couple other pieces from it. Um, I think it's beautiful. I think it's a beautiful piece. Um, it's not a piece for me per se. Um, but I agree with you. I like what Prime One is doing, and I definitely like the the uh, the pricing um, on this piece. How big is this piece actually? Yeah. So it talks. Uh, it says fifty six centimeters in height. I don't know what that is in inches because we're in America. We use right, right. inches. So Let's right. see centimeter to inches. Let's see fifty six. So that's. 22 inches in height that's still pretty pretty tall that's a massive that's like taller than the Revan statue i think so you know because the base is propping him up quite a bit here. yeah yeah it's, it's dope look at the chain mail just all the detail in it i mean you mm. can't go wrong this is a this is a great this is a great piece right here like i said it's not for me but um i like it i mean it catches the eye and i think if you have this on your shelf or anything like that i mean it definitely is going to catch catch the eye of somebody you just walk in the room especially if they're you know a big lord of the rings fam and funny thing is two uh the two towers was my favorite of the trilogy i really mm. like that um i mean of course mm. the third one was great it just didn't end <laughs> it, <laughs> right. it had like five different endings to it it goes on and on <laughs> on and on but i mean yeah but uh two towers is my favorite one um and i love this character and i'm i like this piece like i said it's just it doesn't fit my collection um but it is one of these it's kind of like your first hit of the drug <laughs> like i would see this at somebody's house and then i'm like you know what no hot toys are coming out this week maybe i will and that's thing you know i'll fall down a rabbit hole and then you know mm -hmm. there's six thousand dollars later so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna stay stay away from it it's not for me but i do think it's awesome just get that uh prime one t1 uh t800 so that's uh the uh yeah. the t1 version that thing is a oh work of yeah art. baby I yes. wish we had not passed on that one, but we'll wait for the T2 version. But uh, I'll jump to uh, Ox Daddy on this one. Ox Daddy, what do you think about this Gimli statue, man? I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, $1,000 Prime 1 is a great price point. Um, I mm. know he's not like the full height of a normal 
uh, he's a dwarf, so he's a little shorter than than normal height. But um, there's also a quarter scale Urukai on the base, and those fuckers are huge. So you're, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I think that more than makes up for it. Yeah. Um, I know you've been cycling through the photos, but are, there's no swap outs, right? Or like different options no. for this one. Okay, mm-hmm. I think it would have been. I don't know. I feel like, I mean, they have the axes on the, the hips and everything like that. Maybe right. a different axe swap out, or maybe like a no. portrait without the helmet or something. I don't know. Something that would have added a little bit of display options. I guess you get a yeah, you get the helmet. Helmet. Yeah, I mean nine ninety nine is not bad. A, it's yeah. just like my perspective with Prime One for nine ninety nine. Like the Berserk statue has like two entire display options and like fifty swap outs. So that thing is crazy. Granted, that was a few years ago, so it's not like the greatest comparison, but. Um, also, I feel like Lord of the Rings is probably a more expensive license. Um, but this looks mm-hmm. great. I think the chain mail looks really good. I think the portrait looks good. I think the blood on the axe looks great. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I have, I have no complaints. Yeah. I can't wait to see the Gandalf that they're going to do in this line. It's, I think it's going to mm-hmm. be amazing. I know, man. Nice. I know. Nice. And someone was saying, uh, I wonder if, uh, Hot Toys will get the Lord of the Rings show license. I don't think Asmus is going to let that happen. Um, yeah, yeah, I think Asmus is going to be all over that. So, uh, I don't think hot toys will get a chance to grab that one, but, um, so I'll hop to KG on this one. KG, what do you think about this, uh, Gimli statue, man? Day one pre-order. <laughs> have you still, have you still not seen no, Lord no, of the Rings? No, I haven't seen it yet. I mean, oh, I've only man. seen like, I think half, halfway through the first film. I've only seen the first half of the film, the uh, first film. I just, I'm sorry, but I just slept. I just couldn't deal with it. I'm like, <laughs> oh. I've got to turn this off. Oh, Can't my, do oh it. Oh my god! So many offended people in the chat right now. I'm sure. I know. I know. I know. I'm gonna get the hate. I'm. I know. I'm gonna get the hate. I just. No, uh, to it's me okay. Personally, like, it's not for everyone. It's not for everyone. But it, it. Don't get me wrong. Everything that Prime One does, it's amazing. Same thing with Hot Toys. Everything, everything that they do, even though we do have our likes and dislikes, they're still great pieces. This is a great piece for a thousand bucks. How big is it? Quarter scale uh, or is it one third scale? Quarter scale. Yeah, quarter scale. Okay. It's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. I know you're going to get what was it? Uh, what was the statue you're going to get from? Oh, Sauron. Yeah, he's Sauron. Quarter scale, yeah, I, but he's like he's like four. He's like forty some inches tall, so he's like twice dude, as big. I saw I saw the uh, actual pictures. That's a good pickup. Will. I mean, that's a dude. really good pickup. Um, Hopefully Tuesday, Tuesday. So come oh, on, FedEx. I mean, come through. come through for me, FedEx. FedEx, <laughs> yeah, FedEx. Yeah. Uh, for me, I, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it another shot. I want I want to try to watch this series because I know I've been hearing a lot of great things about it. Um, it I you know my my some of my family members do love this movie. Um, sp- specifically, my aunt she has watched the whole series at least like twelve times. You know, so she loves it a lot. Um, for me, uh, you know, it's a pass obviously because I don't collect statues. But who knows, man? One day I might pick up a statue. And, and don't be surprised, man. If I love the Lord of the Rings, I might pick up Lord of the Rings statue. Who knows? <laughs> um, but this is a great one. <laughs> I'll scroll the cage. Okay. Uh, but it's great. I, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> but I love the base. The great thing all about statues is that they give us these diorama bases. I wish that Hot Toys can do that all the time with some of these figures, right? So I, the base is amazing. I think, I don't know, Will, if you're going to get it, but I think this would go so well with your, you know, if you, if you are going to get the rest of the Lord of the Rings, uh, 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 Prime One statues because they look great, and I, hopefully we're going to be talking about the uh, the Hellboy. They, they announced the Hellboy Prime One, so that, that's <laughs> KG was a uh, Hobbit when the movies came out. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. No. But honestly, great piece. Uh, but I'm going to pass. Stop yeah, me. Totally understand it. And yeah. yeah, I'm not going to get this either because you know completing a line with statues is very dangerous because yeah, that's, huh. like they're all so expensive. You know, so like I don't really complete lines with statues just because it's yeah. Very, very, very pricey. Uh, so, Leia, what do you think about this Gimli, man? Oh man, I mean, it's a decent piece. I mean, I mean, we're talking about Prime One, you know, and Lord of the Rings. I love Lord of the Rings. You know, when it <laughs> first came out, you know what I mean. The um, Fellowship of the Rings. I went and saw it in the theater. Uh, I, I, I go way back as far back as the animated series uh, when they actually mm-hmm. showed the wow. animated version. Um, not the animated version, but the animated movie version of this. Yes. Um, and it was violent. Uh, but mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I go back to then and and that far back, and that's so much love I have for uh, the IP, the film. They knocked it out the park. It was an yeah. emotional journey. All three films, you know, um, uh, Two Towers definitely was one of my favorite. Battle of Helm's Deep. Oh, oh come on, yeah. man, that was incredible. Mm, right um, there, it is. But I love all three films together, and I think that it is one of the greatest trilogies of all time. 
Like literally, you can't really? take that wow. away. Literally, bro. Oh, it's, it's one it of the is. great. It is. it is one of the greatest yeah. trilogies of all time. Seeing Absolutely. it in the theater, a lot of praise. bro. It was it was definitely an emotional journey. But like it, it, it like if you didn't, I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. Um, uh, 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 KG, the last film. If you don't cry, if you mm-hmm. do not cry, literally, if you do not tear up and cry, when he tells those hobbits, you bow, my friends. Yep. You bow for Beautiful. no one. Yeah. Bro, I bawled. I bawled. I was in yeah. it. I Leo, couldn't hold it. it was, it's going to yeah. get you, bro. Le- it's gonna get here's you. the thing, Leo. If I don't cry, I'll give you 20%. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. 20%. 20%. 20%. Give me but, that. And, and KG, so Leo, before you continue, I have to throw in because you made an excellent point. You have to think about how the Academy Awards operate. The mm-hmm. Return of the King won Best Picture yes. for a fantasy film. Like, yes. that's mm. crazy. Yeah. Like, yes. Like, you have to think The Dark Knight never got nominated for an Oscar. Yes. Right? Yeah. Like, and it's you got to think, big. like, wow. Return of the King won Best Picture. And Return of the, and Two Towers was nominated, if I remember correctly. It was. Like, yeah. 18 yeah. Academy Awards. So, like, it was yep. sweat, bro. Yeah. You yeah. got to remember, like, Lord of the Rings is a fantasy film. And, like, the Academy doesn't really like that stuff. So, like, and it won Best Picture. So, sorry, Leo. But, yeah, it's, it's that good of a trilogy. Yeah. yeah. It was it was one of the greatest of all times. I, I love it. Um, yeah. It, 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 it It's, to me, this piece is incredible. I, I love what they give us. Now, the thing is, with that being said, and as much as I love the trilogy, I haven't purchased any of the pieces as far as, like, for a collectible purpose. Because it's just not something that, you know, I, I have all the films. I have all the, um, you know, the director's cuts. I have all of them. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'm I definitely a fan of the film. Hobbit, not so much because I just, I don't think enough time nightmare. was spent on it. Um, as well, I don't think that the yeah. love and the passion that was in wasn't it, there. it was not there. It wasn't the same yeah, passion heard... that they had for the first three. Yeah. We know a guy that took The Hobbit, all three movies, and edited them down to four hours. So it's like went from 12 hours to four. And it's such a good fucking movie. Really? Like, really? Just one. Just yeah. one movie. Yeah. Just... Check out the M4 Hobbit edit. Just one. He just edited it down to one film. It, and it's seamless. Like he took out like a wow. bunch of bullshit that didn't need to be there. And it's, it's. See, it's the only way I watch the trilogy now. I would definitely want to watch it because the way this one, I mean, I that's the thing is like Lord of the Rings is just like, come on, man. I mean, you, yeah, it, like next yeah. to next to like, I mean, my top three trilogies of all time, literally, you know, and it's up there. Like it's definitely up yeah. there because I, I I did love it. I took my daughter to see it. That's the thing, bro. It's so, so good. But anyway, with this piece though, um, again, it's a, it's an amazing looking piece, um. You know, something that's incredible. Uh, and like I said, Prime One knocks it out of the park. Just not something that that, that I need, not something for me, um, you know, when it comes to it. Uh, I mean, but any, but it's beautiful. And anybody who would get it, you're not, I mean, you're getting the bang for your buck because I mm. think it's a beautiful piece. I mean, I love it. I might even go back. I might go upstairs and start watching Two Towers. I already watched <laughs> mm-hmm. wow. Fellowship. Oh, yeah, yeah, I might actually go. On. But yeah, no, I, I, I do love this piece, though. I love it. It's just not something I would pick up. So yeah, y'all think I should watch the extended yes. versions or do you think I should yes. just watch the regular versions? Yes. Extended. 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 Yeah. Extended. Yeah. Extended. Okay. Extended. 4K. Oh, okay. Yeah, 4K. But for sure, Definitely KG, extended. I think, honestly, man, I, I don't even think this is crazy to say before I get to Anthony on this one. Helm's Deep is the best battle ever put to film, in my opinion. It's not, I don't even think it's close. Like, yeah. I love the Avengers battle at Endgame. That's great. But, like, Helm's Deep, it's just, it's a constant tug of war. Like, the, like yeah. the one side's up, then the Urukai come in and they got the handle, and then, like, they kind of lose it. And it's like a yeah. t- constant tug of war. It has it's you like, on the edge of your seat. Yeah, but it's literally tactical. It's a tug of war. Like, it's it's insane. Like, it's, it's, is that in range. the last film or is that in the second, second film? One. Second, second film. Second film. Second film. The battles are crazy yes. throughout, but the, that Helm's Deep battle was legit. Like I don't even know how they pulled that off the way. And they, that's the uh, the like, two towers, right? The two towers. Yeah, two yeah. towers. Yeah. You, it, yeah. It's a journey. You watch. Yes. You watch the whole trilogy. Yeah. 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 I'll give it a watch again. The no, first I'll, film, I'll... the Gandalf and Balrog scene, that's yeah. also a classic. And when when know. Gandalf shows up at the end of the, I mean, the, the very end of the Two Towers, bro. Yep. That scene right there, bro. Don't like, tell me much, man. I got. I, yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna tell you much, but it's just magical. You just gotta basically see it. So. Like literally, it is. But yeah, I mean, it's. I mean, again, I mean, anybody. It seems big. I mean, I mean, this series seems big because when I was a kid, you know, uh, Legos, Legos was was a huge part of the thing in my in my life, and I used to collect Legos, and you know, and I know a bunch of my friends they were collecting a lot of Lord of the Ring Legos, and they they just love the series, and they just love the trilogy. I'm like, wow, is it really that big? I never given it a shot, but now I'm hearing a lot of great things about it from you guys. I'm like, might as well just. You know, try to give it another shot because the first film, I don't know, the first act of the film was very slow. 
I don't know about you guys, but the first act is kind of slow. That's why I think that's why I kind of fell asleep. And like, I just, you got to just keep, you got to just dive in. And, and the thing is, I you agree know, with so. even with um, M. Dyson. He says, start with the theatrical cuts and oh, then yeah. go deep. Because the thing is, you said you fell asleep. No. So you might want to start with the theatrical cuts and you then can. go back and watch them. <laughs> but <laughs> once you, okay. yeah. Dude, that's that's right. Right. I was asking so much extended. Like, you they know, had so much context. Big. Like, yeah. you don't, if yeah. you don't, if you haven't read the books, I would go extended cut because, um, yeah, 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 out, like, yeah. That really makes sense. Important things. That makes that sense. That makes sense. Are yeah. kind of like explained off screen. That makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. Because so, there's no, a lot. Read, there's there's yeah. a lot that with I, the theatrical that kind of goes yeah. into, and it explains. See, if you watch the the theatrical, then it wouldn't the 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 beginning wouldn't drag as much as you think. Like literally, mm. yeah, yeah, because right. it fills in the gaps. So yeah. you'll, you'll, yeah, yeah. I, I no, I mean, I, I, I read the Hobbit book. I, I remember I enjoyed it, but I, I didn't think I enjoyed oh, yeah, the film. Maybe. Um, <laughs> I, I heard. I mean, I when I, I when I saw the film, like, now that was a very boring. Those, those films were they were not that great. The Hobbit films, but I remember I enjoyed yeah, the okay. books. So yeah, yeah as much just... as much money as they're spending on this this series, right. I can't wait. That that shows you how important Lord of the Rings is. They literally just dropped five hundred million dollars to make one season of a show. Yeah. Like that's I mean, like, well, that's crazy. Here, here's like, the Endgame thing: didn't cost that much to make. I mean, right. like, then why couldn't Hothos make some figures out of this? I mean, before Asmus took the license, I think Asmus has the license probably. Yeah. Asmus may have the right of first refusal on figures. They've had the license forever. Yeah. yeah right. Really? So, oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. All right. Hot Toys might. I mean, it's possible. One thing I think could uh, we could talk about it later if you want. The Halo trailer just dropped today, so I mean, yeah. that's something yeah. I haven't Hot watched Toys, it yet. Hot Toys could jump on if they wanted, but I'd say that's probably more likely for like three zero or something. I think. Yeah. I think if if Hot Toys were to get the license, the only figure they're going to make is the Master Chief. Master Chief. That's, yeah. that's the yep. only thing they're going to make. Yep. Totally and if that's right. the case, I would not want them to touch that IP because there's right. so much yeah. more to it. The because I, I think crazy that though. they're great. Yeah, I haven't seen it, but I, I've played the games and I think for other companies that do want to tackle the Halo uh, IP, I think they will make more figures than Hotos will ever do. I think, yeah, you I, know, probably, I think three yeah, zero so. should do it. Yeah, but three zero, I think should do it for sure. Because they make great transformers. Put a Master Chief doesn't really need head sculpt. Just put him in the suit. You're good. The whole look great. Yeah, so, but Anthony, sure. tell me about Gimli, man. What do you think? Twenty seven MCU movies currently, <laughs> right? Yeah, I think so. None of them hold a candle to the Lord of the Rings trilogy. <laughs> Straight up. What you say now? Say it again. Uh, I said there's 27 MCU movies and none of them hold a candle this, to this trilogy. Okay. In my opinion, I'll agree as that. much as I love comics, <laughs> that, I'll okay. agree that. this this trilogy was phenomenal, bro. It I was mean, you phenomenal. know, the ones who know know. We went and saw each movie in the theater. Uh, I grew up reading the books. Uh, the, beside the books, dude, the, the movies were just amazing i'm never gonna buy this statue i'll, I'll tell you that right now just because i don't i don't have a lot of them and, and if I, I can't go i can't go down that hole bro because i love yeah. lord of the rings so much i, right. I may lord i may love it more than star wars like yeah i love i love this trilogy i love lord of the rings everything about it the extended cuts are the way to go in my opinion because there's so much that they left out um the hobbit sucks it just it was in production nightmare and it they went through a bunch of it's, it's all cg it's 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 they're worth watching, yeah. but I don't think the Hobbit needed to be a trilogy, and they just tried to squeeze every right. penny out of it, and you can tell. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But this trilogy, you need to watch it, bro. You need to just sit down, and I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Like they're yeah. they're freaking amazing. Gimli's awesome. This 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 statue in particular. Now that we're we're talking about this, this looks this looks badass, dude. Um, yeah. This looks this looks badass. Uh, I don't even know what to say about it. If they had other swap outs, that'd be even cooler, obviously, right. but. Right. Dude, no, Lord of the Rings is what's up, man. Dude, There's and Anthony, I know down. you can speak to the fact yeah. in Return of the King that, and like Layout talked about the bow to no one scene. Also, this very simple line when when Gimli says, "I never thought I would die next to an elf." He's like, "How about with a friend?" Like, because yeah. those right. two simple lines. have become like the, you yeah. get the context for KG is that Gimli hates the elves, right? Like yeah. the elves don't really like the dwarves; they don't like each other. So, but yeah. Gimli and Legolas become like diehard best friends by the end of it. So, yeah. like, mm. and then at the end, they come and fight together. They think they're all gonna die, and he's like, "Oh yeah, we're friends, and we're gonna die fighting side by side, even so though we so many hate good each other. lines. Like, it's not yep. the cookie cutter. Like, I like Marvel movies; they're fun little right. popcorn films." They're fun, and they expand on on the universe so that they're trying to create, you know, for Marvel, and they're they're cool. But you know what I'm saying? They've got their 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 quirky humor and the, the silliness after serious. Like Lord of the Rings is serious, man. There's some funny parts, 
but it's it's handled like the, whatever, bro. You just, the show yeah, has Lord a high bar. Badass. Like the show's got to be really good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. The show. I hope so too. Like you were saying, that's a lot of money to put into the show. I, and look, one it may season. sound silly, but Lord of the Rings made over a billion dollars with that trilogy. And I know it sounds weird now, but right. that was huge. That was huge to be like, wow, a trilogy made over a billion dollars, like. Because they were released like year after year, essentially, and wow, that was Rams. a lot of freaking money when those came out. Rams going to the Super Bowl. Yep. Oh, Rams wow. won. Yeah, so. they just beat San Fran. Wow. Rams Bengals. Yeah, Jimmy Bengals. G is Garbo, bro. Yeah, I'm a Niners fan. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. Hell yeah. Jimmy yeah, G's uh, getting uh, traded anyway, so. It's... But um, yeah, no. Nah, listen, Sick, listen. It, it, in the end, like I said, it's just the journey. Uh, with with yeah. with with this, and that that's what makes pieces like this phenomenal. But. Again, I mean, not for me, but for those who are getting this piece, you will enjoy. It's going to be dope. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't wait for the day when Prime 1 tackles the Star Wars IP and Marvel IP. It's going to. I don't know if they will because Sideshow is never going to give that up. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, who knows, man? I mean, I mean, uh, unless I mean, they who knows? third scale, maybe, and Sideshow is like, oh, we're not going to make yeah. third scale. But I think they're like, it seems like they're preventing everyone from making Star Wars statues, really. Like, yeah. unless it's going to be like yeah. a Revan, which Sideshow doesn't really care about. You know, they're like, okay, you make right. a Revan, but you're not making a yeah. Darth Vader. So that's, you know. So did yeah, they make a Balrog yet? Prime One did. Yeah. They did. It's, yeah. it's non scale. Okay. So it's like it's just whatever scale I, they want. I couldn't it imagine. To be. Yeah. It's not going to be scaled. But, yeah. But well, because like the Balrog it. is so massive. Like, let me show you guys real quick while we're on here before we move on to the next I want topic. That Balrog um, so bad. It, dude, I almost got it. I'm surprised it. you didn't get it. Yeah. I almost got it, was it just eight, because. It's like 1800 I, for the. It's so much. Yeah, it's yeah. thirteen ninety nine, but like Plus it shipping, is, bro. it is legit insane. Like it has light up oh. functions. Like so, it's. I wonder if I can. Get, there we go. Like you can get a shot Damn, of it. Nice. Oh wow! With the bridge, yeah, it has light up with the bridge oh, and everything, wow. and the sword lights up and the back lights up. Like it's crazy. This is a whole diorama. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is this That's in the cool. second film or the first film? First film. Or third first. film. That's oh, okay. pretty dope. It, and look at that with the base. Damn, that's like nice. it's legit. That's it's legit crazy. Dope. I'm probably gonna regret passing on it, but it's fine. I got Sauron, so I'll live with that. Yeah. Um, that looks badass. It's amazing, it's, bro. It's legit crazy. It's a and massive that's a light up feature. Yep, the sword lights up and the flames light up on the back. Yeah. Wow, well, I'm surprised awesome. you didn't get that, bro. You yeah, I know. It. It's pretty legit. Yeah, yeah because I don't really have space for him right now. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, you got it. You got space. Just go ahead. <laughs> I think he might be. He's waitlisted right now. Anyway, sold out. So yeah, you can get him on third party market. KG, the thing is man when you go into these movies you got to understand that every line of dialogue is is building a world for you yeah. mm -hmm. so mm. it may sound and listen honestly this may sound stupid watch the movies with subtitles no i, I always do with every single thing man i okay. because I like you know too. yeah i like subtitles yeah well, I always they, use, do with they have their own language and things like if you may not know yeah. what this is or that and it's it's there again it's you're getting filled with an overload of information and when you yeah, understand yeah, what middle earth is and the characters within i don't want to get too too into it but you know what i'm saying it's yeah you know, there's no useless dialogue in those movies yeah no no yeah. i mean it seems like what i've seen so far it seems like each scene has a purpose i think yeah, um does. i think mm -hmm. i i got up to the point where i think um what's his name the uh, the main character uh i think he gets killed and he wakes up he thinks he's in heaven or something um i think that's towards the oh, middle frodo. of the film yeah frodo frodo when, yeah when so the nazgul show up yeah Exactly. So I'm, yeah. I'm at that part right now. So you know what, things, KG, man. to be quite honest, to be quite honest, don't if you look at this film from a totally different perspective, there is really there's no lead. There's not really yeah, one lead. Right. There's I mean, not, it's, it's it's Frodo's ensemble. journey, but you're on a journey with everyone. Like mm -hmm. literally, sure. that's how well written it was that everyone had their own separate journey. And it didn't expect it wasn't too large to follow. It was just right. But everyone had their journey and it was interesting it, i'm telling you it's it's one of the greatest trilogies of all time bro mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. literally is that's how that's how you know i didn't i didn't realize the impact it would have when they announced it as a film until you saw it because they could have it could have went horribly wrong but it didn't it went right it went Yo, right. that shit yeah. in the theater bro yeah. yeah when you're watching like helms deep like yeah bro that's Yo, why I can't wait to see Dude, this Will. statue. Yeah. <laughs> Will, Anthony, oh my he's God. really passionate about it, so I can tell he cried on every film. Oh, yeah, bro, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. Me? 
Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah you did. You cried every film. No, You're that man, passive. I didn't yes, cry. Did. What are you yes, talking about? Yes, you did. He got a bunch of tattoos. Yes, you did, bro. About. It's okay, man. <laughs> just get in touch with that side, bro. Just get, <laughs> It's okay to cry, bro. You bow to no one, Anthony. You, it's fine. You cry. Hey, yeah. I'll try to cry. There were some, there were some moments. There was some <laughs> tearjerker moments. Bro, well, I, I won't spoil anything for KG, but the fi- well, I guess it's the second to final scene with the boat. Let's just say that. With the boat. Yeah, you want to cry. You're going to cry, for sure. When you go through the journey and then you get to that scene, you're like, damn, man. Yeah, he's going to cry. I know he's going to cry. He's going to cry. Yeah. Okay, Jay is going to wipe his face off. I can't wait for this uh, <laughs> this this sour on here. So hopefully, dude, that. this is an amazing piece, man. I'm so jealous yeah. right now that you're. Coll- I'm so jealous that you guys like the Lord of Rings. I would have bought this if I was collecting steps because this thing. Carlos bought it. I got amazing. him to buy it. So yeah. Oh really? Yeah. I mean, this thing's amazing, man. If I if I was in the statue game, this is a. This would be massive. like a, a number one. It's as big as Pennywise, yeah. and Pennywise is half scale. Mm-hmm. So you know, wow. it's, it's pretty massive. So. That's huge. And this is quarter scale. DJN, thanks so much, DJ. Four nine nine super chat. My Get God. with trilified, uh, trilogified. I'm not sure I pronounced that correctly. Lord of the Rings is cinematic, uh, cinematic, trilogian. Yeah, I would say so. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna agree with you. <laughs> so <laughs> it sounds great. Amazing. So, yeah, and DJN, thanks so much, DJ. Again, man, thanks so much, man. By the way, Zack Snyder wanted to do two uh, Lord of the Rings uh, pentology uh, with his DC movies. Same president at Warner Bros. at the time before he left was uh, gonna HBD Gravitas. Huh. Interesting. Um, mm. Yeah, it was Zack Snyder. Well, you know, him it. and Warner Bros. don't seem to be on good terms right now, at least DC. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. You know, but um, so I guess we'll never see that. But, guys, there's something fun that I want to do with you tonight. Let's go. Whoa, I'm like, out. I've been having fun for an hour and a half already. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> hey, we're about to have some more fun. Hopefully, we can get through this pretty quickly. There's something we're going to do. Not and it's here, we won't. Jeopardy, baby. Because oh, you know wow. what? We've never done this before on this show. And this is why this is something that I think we need to do. Honestly, I don't even really know the rules of Jeopardy that well. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. I don't know what the Jeopardy do. game is. Yeah, yeah none know. of us do. So, like, basically, the way we're going to play. Am I just play... a man out of time here or what? Like, I, I must be. So. I must Nobody's ever watched Jeopardy. I've always I watched Jeopardy. <laughs> well, I'm like, because these guys are like, what the hell is this? How do we play? I've never seen it. I don't know the rules. Leo, I got, I got some before. Hold on. This is like, we had to use like a discount version because like we, that's all we have. <laughs> yeah, well, people were thinking we, we because can I, can't, I can't play the regular copyright. version because they'll, they'll copyright me, I think. Yeah, we can copyright. Right. We can and we that. have a, you know, this is the intro. Right? Ooh. <laughs> that's snappy. Hold on. I, I got you guys. <laughs> you only can on. find us on Will Fox and the Cases channel. That's it. Hold on, there's like a, there's like a kazoo DC. part. I gotta wait for my 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 uh, call in. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> the best game show ever. <laughs> Part-time podcaster. Part-time <laughs> Ladies yeah, and yeah. gentlemen, welcome to One Six Scale Jeopardy. <laughs> Get your, oh, okay, actually, that's what we'll do. Actually, brother cousin just gave me a really good idea. Here's what we'll do. Uh, I'm gonna stop sharing. I'll introduce all the contestants, and we'll play the song and then wow. do it. That oh way. shit! All right, Anthony, bro. <laughs> we got Six Scale Mafia in the house tonight. Our first contestant. This man has lots of tattoos. He's a badass. He eats more pizza than anyone possible. He's a big fan of Star Wars. He loves XO Six. He's our contestant number one. Give it up for contestant number one. And then, uh, let's see, how do I solo? Oh, sorry, layout? I thought we were supposed to clap. <laughs> one Six Scale Man, a.k.a. my accountant. He has some of the best posing in the game, okay? He's Jeopardy. He's one of the best contestants of all time. One of the biggest collectors in the world. Look at that beard. Top tier collector right there. He really is. This man is a genius, a creative genius. Next, we got Brother Cousins. This man is a space pimp. He brought baby oil to a show. <laughs> this man, he, look at that. He's a beauty. He's a beauty. His Terminator arm got broken, but he's damn sure gonna get another one. He could win some money tonight to get right back on track. What's the price, Daddy? This man, sexiest man alive, no doubt about Thank it. Second much. to none. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. Look at that background. He's a. He's a. I can see Lord of the Rings something back there. I don't know. Oh, there's but, lots of Lord of the Rings back there. Yeah. Right see, now. he's a beautiful man. He's a beautiful man. And Zach, he checks everyone's levels better than anyone in history. So he's <laughs> yep. the man. And look at this. We got Timothy Chalamet, KG collector in the house. This man is famous. Give us our ten yes. percent, KG. Give Very us our famous. Ten percent. Ten percent. All right, guys. Where did the Hellboy come from? I don't know. I thought it was Venom. I, know I thought it was Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Dunn said his layout's beard rooted or sculpted. It's definitely sculpted. <laughs> Sometimes it's rooted. When I wake up in the morning, it's rooted. But once I get through the morning, it's sculpted. Yeah. <laughs> got it. So, guys, I'm just going to say, honestly, for this Jeopardy, the way we're going to do it is 
we'll have someone just start and pick one of the categories and then we'll kind of go from there but i guess since we don't have like an actual buzzer we'll just say just say ding or something so i know who's going to jump in first right so that's kind of we'll the only say way nickel to do wise. It. yeah we'll there was his nickel wise first <laughs> Nick. If you guys want a different buzzword, we can use that. So well, you gotta you gotta pick an order of how we go, and then when when the do when we gotta you, go in order? And then when you fail, well, you pick one person, and then right. they go until they miss. Right. Right. Okay. I don't know. Yes. So yep. let's do that. So we'll start from the top. Then Anthony, what cat? And so by the way, before we do that, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. Before we do that, if Anthony gets it wrong, then anyone can buzz and jump in. Correct? No. Any when Anthony asks the question, anyone can answer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So okay, whoever buzzes someone, in. Mike has a great idea. He says, say your name to buzz in. That's Okay. Smart. Let's do that. Let's say your name to buzz in. Mike, this is why this is why you're here, bro. Okay. So we'll start with Anthony. Anthony, what do you pick, bro? We got one-offs, Marvel, Star Wars, and DC. What's your choice? Let's do Star Wars for 300. Star Wars for 300, wow. it is. What is the most recent Hot Toys Star Wars release? Ooh, oh, uh, my Star name Wars is Anthony. Oh, <laughs> Anthony, I, Anthony said well, it first. Anthony, what's your what's yeah, your choice? Yeah, it'd be Boba Fett, man. Two pack. No, it's not. Oh, actually. you're right. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I gave, two days later. I gave the oh, choice though, so I shouldn't have done that because someone else could have jumped in. So I fucked that me, one up. Me, I was supposed okay. to come in. I was, I was good. Bro. I was <laughs> ready right, to come right, in, bro. man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Leo out his word and give him his three hundred. The form of a question. Yeah, that's you're true. Right. We, yeah, we don't, we don't know those rules. So, Anthony, bro, minus three hundred for you, man. Minus, well, I don't lose because Leo was going to answer. I, I was going to answer it. I was going to say it too. <laughs> so you were, well, you were going to say it too, right? Okay, right, we'll, we'll give Box Daddy three hundred as well. Hell yeah! <laughs> about the damn assault tank commander. <laughs> yep, yep. Assault tank. And next time I'll I know, know the rules better. So okay. Too. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared now. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll research. do that. So uh, so we got that, and I so I think I understand the rules better now. So since Leo and Zach answered, Leo, I'll let you go. Leo, pick okay. one. What do you want? I'll take Star Wars for two hundred, please. Star Wars for two hundred. All right. There have been blank Obi Wan Kenobi figures released by Hot Toys. Oh, oh, Anthony. Oh, Anthony. oh. me. Two. Wait Anthony? a minute. Wait a minute. I have to answer it first, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Anyone can answer. Will's making this shit up. I don't know. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I, anyone can answer this. Anyone can jump in. Anyone can jump in. I'm so confused now. Okay. <laughs> Wait so a minute. Either, but I thought basically the, the person gets it wrong. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's how, how it's supposed how it to be. Do we say our name says we is like no, the No, look, Lael's right. This is like, not going Lail well. Shows. <laughs> nah, we need a buzz. This is why has well. four pages worth of rules. <laughs> this is not going well. You, yeah, they're hurt. The person has to answer it. If they get it wrong, then no, the other person, no, right? No, no, no. Anyone can answer it. Okay. Oh, well, well. So, yeah, no. so, but Anthony is correct. Yeah, but it the should be Lael's because he knows, like, he, but it's what is if he gets it wrong, yeah, it should then be he, what Then his do. turn goes, and then it's to the next person. I don't think person. that's how I don't. I think Jeopardy anyone can works. jump in, right? Because Leo can just keep weird. getting them right. You it's know what I mean? It's weird. I yeah, mean, that's but true. You, hold up. And we're Man. bringing this out during the live stream. This is great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because, <laughs> because, <laughs> because, <laughs> Google the fucking This is why Pose Wars has three pages of rules. <laughs> exactly. I guess, no, I guess they though. said anyone could buzz in, so go ahead. All right, so this is what we'll do. So Anthony got that right, right? So anyone can buzz in. So you just say your name, and that's your buzz in. Anthony, what's your choice oh, yeah. for the next category? Look, hold on. The first, team, the first team to go picks a category wow. in dollar amount, the host then reads the answer. Once the answer is read, a green indicator appears at the bottom of the screen, Captain blah, blah, blah. The first contestant to ring in successfully must respond in the form of a question, or, you know, we're not doing it that way, but yeah. Right. Well, yeah. Correct response. Yeah, you can, you can um, if you want, but I'm not going to. Okay. Answer. Okay. Yeah, anyone can guess. Okay. All right, let's go. But okay. All right, Anthony, pick one for us. Oh, so I get to pick now? Yep, you yeah. do, because you got the last one right. All right, let's do... So then how does this work? I have to answer before anybody else no. chimes in? Once you pick one, I'm going to read the question. Whoever says their name first gets to answer it. Go ahead. All right. One-offs for $100. All right. This two-pack of a beloved childhood characters was released in 2019 and was made of plush. Zach. Zach. Oh, you, I know. What is Winnie uh, the Pooh and Piglet? Yes. There you go. Yes. Yes. Daddy, I knew baby. That. I knew that. Winnie oh, the Pooh no. and Piglet. Yeah. You got it. Zach, what's your next choice? Uh, one offs for 200. One offs for 200. This underrated figure was on pre order for approximately 27 Zach. months. Zach. Zach. Are you uh, kidding what is Pennywise? Me? <laughs> 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 yes, <laughs> baby. Pennywise, girl. <laughs> All right, Zach, what's your, what's your answer here? Or what's your one next choice? One offs for 300. Oh, did I give Zach his points oh for that? God, one? We're going in. Yeah. Not for that one. 
Okay. Is that, oh, so you said one off to 300? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This beauty of a figure was released in 2018 and originates from a beloved Disney property. So, oh. Jake. Hey, G. What is? I think Zach was quick on that one. What is Bell? <laughs> Zach is on a roll tonight, boys. Damn it. Ox Daddy, baby. Oh, man. All right, Zach. What's Love next? It. 400 uh for one-offs one-offs all right yeah this infamous villain was released in 2011 and is from a famous sports drama film it's hot toys oh, I'm, I'm... a famous sports a villain from a sports drama mm -hmm. this is a tough one this is a tough 2011? one 2011 this is hot why toys? It's for 400. is this hot toys as well do i have... yeah it's hot toys do i have to bring the oh. buzzer after a certain amount of time uh i think i know what this is but uh, you don't want to get it wrong get the points off yeah this is a 400 category right 400 favorite sports drama 2011's from a sports drama someone mm. mentioned it earlier today i'll give you a hit uh mm. zach zach yes what is apollo creed no incorrect uh Ooh. i think oh, i know what it is good one though this is infamous villain this is not villain well he was what's, a villain in the first what's movie. the hint an antagonist 2011 so zach gets zach gets points off right yeah yeah yeah, yeah what's the okay. hint the well, there's no the hints. What? <laughs> you, say, you, say, you, said, you said you give you us a hint. Uh, should yeah, I, I, should I, I bring the buzzer, the buzzer on this bro. one? So no yeah, yeah, bring, bring the, the buzzer. Yeah. Mm. All right, we're going to bring the buzzer on this one. You're very close. Is I it Drago? Drago? I thought oh. it was Drago. Yeah, I thought it was Drago. Because he's Soviet? Like, I don't... It seems racial. It seems racial, bro. That seems racial, bro. That seems racial, All right, so... That question was terribly worded. No, no way. I should only lose two of So who gets to pick now? Because everyone got it wrong. Do I pick? Uh, I think it goes back to me if no one. All right, Zach. Go I, ahead, I don't know. I, I don't watch. OK, uh, one offs for 500. Oh, right. my God. We're going one offs. This famous battle damage figure is one of Will Fox Vacation's favorite hot toys. <laughs> it's from one offs. Battle <sighs> damage. A it's a battle damage Jay. hot toys figure. Jay, what's up? Uh, Terminator from Terminator 2. Yeah, boy. What? There you go. Jay. Congratulations, bro. Get it. I hate this 500 for you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so Jay, what's next, man? All right. Uh, give me... Ooh, let's do Marvel for 400. Marvel for 400. Ooh. The Hot Toys 1 to 1 Infinity Gauntlet retailed for A, 1200, B, 900, C, 1050, or D, 930. Jay. Jay. C. Incorrect. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> KG. KG. B. <laughs> Incorrect. Someone's gonna get it. Lay out. <laughs> All right, lay out. Lay out said his. Oh, so let me let me KG uh, lay out. Sorry, what's up? D. D is correct. Yeah. Layout is oh, right. I, I know because D. I bought one second hand, but I knew what the retail price was. What is D? <laughs> lay out. Oh, lay, look at the scores right now. This is amazing. KG, uh -huh. negative 400, bro. You got to get your game out. Let's <laughs> not talk about it. Just keep going. Just keep lay going. Out, lay out. What's the next choice, man? What's the next category? I take Star Wars for 400. Star Wars for 400. All right. Hot Toys Bo Katan retails for KG. 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 285. KG is correct. 285. Nice. KG Chalamet. 285. Got his points back. Got some points. There KG, is. what's our next category? Star Wars 500. Star Wars at 500. Oh, nice. This popular Rogue One character, unfortunately, Lael. was displayed. Oh, no. Damn, are you going to let him finish? <laughs> no, you don't have to let me finish. You, you can jump in. Yep. All right. <laughs> Leo. It we is all know it. what this is. Zach, you... I know what it is. I got dibs. <laughs> Which would you be? Hold on. Leo already caught it. too long. It. KG, 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 KG. I got to bring the buzzer on. No, right because, KG, because KG, everybody's Zach. talking too much. I can't <laughs> He's thinking of the answer. No, like I'm not, not because point. everybody's crazy. Okay, what is that? Can go. Layout can go. I'm just kidding. I can't hear what you are. Okay, what is. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Because, hold up. Um, Baze Malvis. What is Baze Malvis? Baze Malvis is correct. Baze Malvis is correct. <laughs> Longest answer, but it, he got. He saw the chat. He was waiting for the chat. <laughs> nope, <laughs> nope, nope. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't look at it. Layout's killing it right now, guys. Y'all got to catch up. Layout. Star Wars for 100. Star Wars for 100. All right, we're almost done with our Star Wars. This figure was released as a two-pack with the first version of the most iconic Star Wars KG. Villain. Leo. KG. KG. No, it was me. I oh, was it Anthony? Uh, come on. All right, Anthony, I'll What's take your word for it. <laughs> Anthony, What's up, bro? Points. Fill me in, bro. It's uh, Tarkin and Vader. It's Tarkin. Tarkin is correct. Damn, All right, so we're going to give bad. Anthony his points for that one. Anthony, what's our next Look, one? Look, I broke even. Come on, cut me some slack. <laughs> we're running out of categories, <laughs> so I can only do so much. <laughs> Oh, so it's my turn. Yeah, it's your turn. You get to pick. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose this one. Let's do DC for five hundred. All right, oh, DC boy. for five hundred. Double Jeopardy, baby. 
I don't really know what that means, except I'm going to give whoever gets it right, uh, you know, the point. It's double. This figure was announced as a Toy Fair exclusive Layout. in 2019. Layout. Oh, no. Hold up. Hold on, wait, I can't hear it. <laughs> you call it and you don't know the fucking... I gotta run a timer soon. Hold up. I know what it is. 2019. Leo, you got about you seven more seconds. You can't read the question. Seven more okay. seconds. <laughs> so what is... <laughs> no. Oh, man. Zach, Zach. Uh, KG, I, Leo, I, I gotta bring the buzzer on you. Bring the buzzer, right? bro. Exactly. I can't, I, all right, all right. Because I thought this, I thought this was appreciated as a two pack, bro. But go ahead. We got, we got to give Leo's KG, points KG, off. So, KG, Zach, KG, what's up? KG. Uh, what is or who is Two Face? Two Face is correct, oh, Dog's that. Daddy. So you get, I, I guess, right a thousand. So oh, yeah. Wow. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Damn. The, the, the tides have turned. The turntables have swung. It did. It did. Go ahead, Zach. There's two daily doubles on the board, or one? That was. There's two. There's two doubles. Okay. Um. Marvel for 100. Marvel for 100. What is the most recent 1-4 scale Iron Man suit announced? KG. KG. Uh, the gantry. Yep, you are correct. The Mark Four. I'll give it to it? you. Mark IV uh, gantry. Mark oh. IV. I'll give you that one. Mark IV gantry. That was a good one. Yeah. He got it. Yeah. So, KG, what's next, man? Uh, DC 400. <clears throat> DC for 400. This character was made into a power pose figure from a film that underproduced KG. the box Anthony. office. KG. KG. Uh, King Shark. <laughs> King Shark is correct. Oh. KG. Hold up. Are we supposed to be answered in question form? What is King Shark? You can, but I don't really yeah. care. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I'm making them better. Get it rules. right. Let's go. All right. I so have a Jeopardy, man. Chill. <laughs> KG, we only got a couple categories left. What's left, KG? Pick Marvel, 500. Said, minus 1, 000, Marvel for 500? 500. What is the most expensive 1 6 Iron Man figure on the secondary market? Oh, that's so good. And I'm pretty sure I got this right, but I'm, right. I'm, I'm, we're just going to go with it. Jay. Jay. I said my name. Oh, Anthony? I can't hear you. This I is like, hello, Anthony. <laughs> Anthony, go ahead, Anthony. <laughs> I'm probably going to get it wrong, man. I was going to say Mark 5? Incorrect. <sighs> Jay, because you said next. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, Anthony, I got I to gotta, Mark. I gotta... Shit. Mark I lose six? points for being wrong? Yep. Oh. Yeah, it's not the Mark 6. Damn. Mark 1. Mark 1. <laughs> not to mark D double KG. minus 500 KG, <laughs> double, yeah, double, KG? I don't know my man. what's your guess if no one gets this one I wouldn't be shocked but the one six scale gantry nope KG oh, incorrect right. incorrect right. I might be wrong on this but I pray to God I'm not lay out what do you got if, you if no one wants to guess Leo can decide to sit this one out if he doesn't want to lose points but well, I ain't losing I'm points I'm not because I can't when it comes to Iron Man I don't because the expense right. change I'm, I'm gonna sit this one, one out. and you're gonna be you're gonna be pissed you're gonna be pissed at me but the original is it Hawkbuster the... <laughs> I don't Hulk think so. Some I think of the it chocolate is Iron Man. Some of the chocolate Iron Mans and mm. other like no, because the, the Hulk Buster is like what, like twelve, thirteen. You can still buy Hulk Buster, man. Yeah. I didn't think, but I didn't think of the Hulk Buster is rigged. It's, it's, it's a, a it's a mark. It's a mark Iron Man. It is. That was a rigged question. It is. It is rigged. Someone didn't do their homework. Probably. Okay. So who gets choose next? I'll go brother cousins. I'll let you pick. Um, let me do Marvel for three hundred. Double Jeopardy, baby. Well. This popular Marvel character is the last figure from the Endgame line to Anthony. be released. Yeah. Hey, no, I knew. Anthony, who who Anthony. jumped in? I didn't know who said that. I was think Anthony. 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 Anthony was first. Yeah. So you're saying the last figure that has been released? No, to be released. Uh. That has not come out yet. It's the last figure Loki. from the Endgame line that has not come out. Yeah. Loki. Yes, Loki yeah. is correct. Wow. You got it. You get six hundred, Anthony. You're back in the positive. Yay. Um, All right, Anthony. We only got a couple more left. Oof. And I got to say the last one for like, what is that? You all make a bet or something. I think that's how it goes. So. Yeah, finally. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. Well, let's let's just get Marvel off the board right now. What is the last release Marvel Hot Toy? Leo. Leo. The mm. last release Marvel Hot Toy? Mm -hmm. I can't even remember, honestly. I got to look at my Ooh, notes. I know. Um, hold on. Hold up. Oh, I know. I know. I know. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Marvel Hot Toy or just Trilogy Hot Toy? Just Marvel Hot Toy. Just Marvel Hot Toy. KG. Oh, the Battle Jam is Mark 5, right? I mean, Mark 85, right? Layout is correct. Battle Jam is 85. Yep. All right. So, Layout, what's that? We have three more left. We got two, really, because the last one we're going to save for like the bad. DC 400. It's funny, DC's left. The last DC Hot Toys release is KG. KG. That's a good one. The Bad Girl. No, actually. 
Jay. Wow. Jay. Really? Golden Honor mm, one for Jay is correct. Oh, that's wow. true. I would have got, mm-hmm. 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 got that wrong, KG. KG, thanks KG for taking one dinged. for the team. All right, we got. We'll, we'll save. Let's do two hundred. We'll save three hundred for final. Will ain't even keeping score. <laughs> I, got, I gave brother cousins his points. <laughs> oh, KG, negative three. Messed up. Oh, KG negative. messed up. KG, uh, hold on. How, what was that category? hundred? Yeah, there you go. KG, you will have to get him a hundred dollars <laughs> at the end of this. I'm the best host of all time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so guys, let's do DC for two hundred because we're gonna save three hundred for last. Okay. Um, this popular character from DC was recently reissued in the form of Layel. Hey. Ah. Come on, man. <laughs> it was a nightmare Batman and, and, and black suit Superman. Did, it, did Anthony say something? I didn't hear him. Nope. It was yeah. me first. <laughs> it was me first. I said, Leo. It was me first. Let's ask the chat. It was me first. I said, Leo. It was like, Anthony, Leo. Nah. I said, Leo. Leo did get it right, though. So, Leo did get it right. All right, guys. So, we need bets. I got to write this down somewhere. This is how you don't you all like bet something for the final round? I think that's how it goes, right? Yeah. However, Joey Dawson is cheating. Well, but. But Brother Cousins doesn't have anything to bet. <laughs> so, like, how does that work? Um, we'll just, we'll you just say. You guys can't even hear me or what? No, I can hear you. Dude, I literally All didn't right. hear you on that last one. Dude. Yeah, I didn't Crazy. hear you. Crazy. Yeah, I didn't hear you on it's that last one. probably my filter. You. All right, so what do you guys all, uh, <laughs> Carlos is, by the way, jumping Look, in. that's what I was saying. Some <laughs> of those rare <laughs> Iron Mans, bro. So they're, 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 we're not counting special edition, Carlos. We're oh, counting, you didn't, there was no disclaimer. <laughs> we're, we're, we're counting, the best we're counting original only. No one would have got that anyway. All right. How dare you? So yeah, you uh, can wager what you have. Okay, so, so you can wait. Does everyone want to wager everything? I'm not doing that shit. Well, you- <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. Leo, how much do you want to wager? Is, like you usually write it down. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna write it down. I would write it down, but hold it. That's can't. right. We gotta write it down, and how then are we write? I don't have a pen. Oh, you gotta write it down. But then y'all could just lie to me. I don't, you know. <laughs> you could be like, no, I wrote 300, or you know, whatever. Does it, it matter? No, I'm gonna write mine down. All right. Because I have a pen. I don't have a pen. I don't know what you needed. I said, <laughs> put it on here, your I will, Look, I will. Here, here's this, that way there's no cheating. I or just, just send Facebook it to me in a PM you. or something. Oh, you know what? We'll, we'll, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good do. idea. Yeah, send it to me in a <clears> PM. Or we'll put them in, we'll put them in, the, put uh, them in private the private chat, chat here. In yeah. the private chat. Oh, that's right. Yeah. we have to bet? But I guess everyone's going to see what you bet is the problem. Yeah, but you and Brother Cousins can't bet. Right. How dare you? Oh, yeah, we can't bet. Yeah, because you guys are negative. Yeah. Wait, so if we win, we get 300 points. If we lose, we lose 300 or we're betting? I'm gonna say that you lose works, your bet yeah. and you lose the th- holy shit the 300, but bet, only if you, you guess the question you wager, wrong. Like you only use the three, you only lose the 300 if you say oh and you got it wrong. Yeah. So do you have to guess or no? I don't know how Jeopardy works. No, you don't. I don't. Uh, well, actually, do, you do have to guess for this one actually because you you're wagering something. Yeah. So yeah. everyone well, has everyone, zero. Everyone has a chance to get this right essentially. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so we got to put it in private chat, t- or yeah, do we send it? Yeah, just put it in private chat. Yeah. If okay. you guys don't care if each other sees your, we put our no, answers in private but, chat. But, because uh, if you brother, see it, then we can't change it. Brother cousins and 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 KG can still answer. They just can't. yeah, they can still answer. They just, they can't, just can't. They just wager. can't wager anything. Yeah. Wait. So I want to clarify. We put our answer in the private chat. No. No. Just. No. Just, how much uh, money you're wagering? Yeah, how much you're wagering? Send me. Send me. Or you can put your answer in the private chat. I guess if you want. But I would say send it to me directly. So you have fifteen hundred points. And you can put yeah. in fifteen. You can put up to fifteen hundred points under this question. But if I get so it wrong, you, I lose three hundred and fifteen. That doesn't make any sense. And yeah, whatever you, you wagered, yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. So like that, like okay. so that's why it's tough for you and Layal because you guys are relatively close. So like, if you guys get it wrong, then that's yeah, wild. It could throw off the whole balance. But yeah, I don't Phillip think anyone else don't is have winning to this. Answer or wager. Unless you and Layal both get it wrong, and then Anthony could win if you and Layal both get this wrong and you wager a lot. But true. No, Anthony can't wager more than he has. That's I don't think right. That's but Jeopardy if you works. wagered all of it, and oh, you lost. I see. Right, yeah, right. If you wager different. all of it, yeah. and Anthony, and you both get it like, wrong, then a million yeah. points. That's how yeah. much I wager. Yeah. Someone said, "Where's the theme music?" I, I, I got you. Bro. Yeah. Put the little flute back on. Come on. Oh, wait. This one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's all it's tense, and then you music. play that goofy flute. <laughs> <laughs> I can wager what I want. Yeah, you can wager what you want, bro. Yeah, guys, these contestants are thinking very long and hard about what they mm. want to wager tonight. There's a lot of this, a lot on stake. I don't know what they're going to win, just my respect and admiration. That's about it. But they really <laughs> want it. <laughs> Did everyone get their wager in? Yeah, you're Not supposed yet. to write it in, but I mean, this is like Will's a weird Darkest Timeline <laughs> version of Jeopardy. So. <laughs> 
So where are we putting the wager? We're putting in the private chat or I what? Know, I got caught up in music. Y- yeah. Um, yeah, put it in the private chat. <laughs> okay. Did you guys put it in there? I'm only wagering 200. That's All it. All right. All right. Everyone's just going to know each other wagers. It's fine. Um, <laughs> I guess I just don't understand how this game works. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fine. If he just gets it right, it. he gets 300 plus 200, right? That's how that Correct. works. Correct. 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 Oh, shit. Yeah. That's, that's a lot. So you just don't answer and you'll win. Because, Zach, you got 1,000 for that one question <laughs> like, you answered. That's what really put you over the someone top. Someone said Leo should have lost another 500. I just want to put that out there. <laughs> check, check yeah, the right. Yeah, <laughs> right. No, I shouldn't have. Yeah, check the tape. Okay, I put my wager. My wager. <clears throat> Damn, okay, nothing. okay. So, we need, so KG and brother cousins can't wager, right? So just Anthony at this point. Uh, I just texted you, but yeah, 100. You okay. dare you, all I got is 100, so I'm going to put it all in. All right, so Anthony's going 100. So everyone has to answer this question. So... I would say don't say your answer out loud. Send your answer to me in a private chat. Like send oh, it to me on smart. Facebook or something. Yeah, that is smart. Because then everyone's going to start jumping in. All right. In. So it's not who gets this one first. Just send it to me in a private chat. Where's blank on Hot Toys Facebook post for years resulted in this fan favorite DC character being put up for pre order in 2021? We need we need the music. Hold on, we need the music. Hold, Hold up. on. Where's blank? Wait, what? Is that a phrase? It's a phrase. It's a phrase. It's a phrase. <laughs> this music. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, is, oh, okay, DC. So, oh, uh, Leo, 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 Leo. Oh, no, 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 you don't need to answer. Just send it to the private chat. Oh, okay. Oh, we got to put it in the private chat. If you say it out loud, then everyone's going to get it. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Yeah, see, Bob Dylan said, man, that's too easy. So, yeah, because it's, yeah. Oh, my God. We put it in the private chat? Just send it send it to me directly. It's like Facebook. Oh, man. So, we got to send it to you by Facebook? Anthony is actually correct. Yep. Hold on, man. Hold on. Zach is also correct. Hold on, because I'm trying to find. Here we go. I like this music, actually. Zach, good idea. I like. Well, this did you music. see my uh, KG? You put it in the wrong chat, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, don't look at the private chat, guys. <laughs> don't look at the private chat. <sighs> Lael is also correct. So I guess that's pretty, brother cousin is the only one I need. I said to see you on Facebook. Oh, did you? Yeah. Linda says, oh, shit, obviously there it is. not Mark 46. That was my first. I was typing and I was like, wait, it's DC. <laughs> All right. So Holy shit, it's actually Cyborg. Sense. Oh, man. Yeah. Where's Cyborg? You guys knew all the posts said, where's Cyborg? Where's Cyborg on every single post? It's like Mark 46. Mark 46 would have been a good guess, though, but it's not DC. So that's kind I'll of the push, deal. I'll push Shazam. <laughs> you did push Shazam. <laughs> Shazam was close. Brother Cousins actually loses 300 more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so he's he's in the double negatives at this point. Uh, so Anthony, you bet a hundred, so you get four hundred. Mm-hmm. Should be at two hundred. Well, so you, oh, it's it's trying to double you up. So, but I'll give you another hundred. You're at five hundred. So right. KG got it right. KG gets what three hundred? It should be two hundred, I think. Yeah, two hundred. Oh, three hundred. Yeah, and then Leo got it right as well. Leo, how much? Leo wagered zero, so he gets three hundred. No, 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 no. I laid, no, no, he wagered two hundred. Oh, okay, so he gets. Oh yeah, he's, he's at sixteen. I wager two hundred. Yeah, he's at sixteen hundred. Yeah, so I'll have to add that. And then Zach wagered zero, right? Mm-hmm. So Zach got the answer right. So Zach is our winner. Because Leo, you had sixteen hundred to Zach's uh, eight eighteen hundred. So mm-hmm. oh, seventeen hundred. We don't. Yeah. So but either way, it's sixteen hundred. Won't let me add. So it Zach won. Zach won. I mean, Leo should be at twelve hundred, but I mean, well, you got to give him one. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Guys. Thanks so much. That was a wonderful game of Jeopardy. Bob I feel, yeah. like, us. I feel says, like none of these fools know how Jeopardy works. <laughs> yeah. How dare you? Yeah, I know. I know. But not, even the host didn't know how Jeopardy works. So, you know, but it's fine <laughs> because true. we made our way through it. So, you know, <laughs> Bob Dylan said none of these fools know how Jeopardy works. Yeah. So thank you all. Thank you guys. Give a big shout out to all the contestants. They were all great. Amazing. Hog's daddy won. I'm not sure what his gift is yet, but there'll be something. Wow. Yeah. Andre <laughs> said that needed work, but it was fun. <laughs> I'm telling you, Post Wars has four pages of rules for a reason, man. Yeah. <laughs> There's not shy to rewards. Yeah, exactly. So, guys, that'll wrap up our show pretty much, uh, much tonight. So, I'm going to go around the panel here and thank these awesome gentlemen and let them kind of give their little pitch here. Anthony, you're so close to a thousand, man. What's coming up on Six Scale Mafia? Uh, well, thanks for inviting me. And you need to uh, learn how to host Jeopardy. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun. No, bro. 10 out of 10. Uh, yeah, no, it's cool, man. Um, yeah, uh, my thousand. I'm trying to get to my thousand, man. I'm. What am I at right now? Uh, I think you're like nine twenty or something, right? Nine twenty five currently. 
So 75 more to go on that. Uh, We're going to do the IG-11 giveaway. Come on, uh, man. And then my streams are Saturday evenings, so stay tuned for those. And, us, you know, some reviews here and there, you know. But, yeah, it's fun, man. It's awesome, and it's pretty cool. Um, hopefully I'll get to that 1,000 soon here, but that's pretty badass. It's fun. So, yeah. thanks for having me. And, yeah, man, that's <laughs> it. dare you. <laughs> dude absolutely the chat's not impressed <laughs> <laughs> so uh so leo what's coming up with you man on one six scale man oh man um yeah we got a comic book talk with friends uh tomorrow uh where basically we're getting to drop actually an earlier drop on um black history month uh where we're going to talk about black superheroes nice. um, so i actually want to do that Miles, all baby, month baby. um so that's going to be incredible i can't wait to start that um on Wednesday, we're going to have Say What, where the topic actually on Wednesday, it, it, the show's going to be called The Calm Before the Storm. Will, mm. you should be interested in this one because basically what we're going to talk is we're going to talk about what you should do, you know, how you should budget and what you should do, knowing that after the Chinese New Year, there's going to be a storm. Mm. So if you have yeah, figures and stuff like that that you have out there for pre-order and you're almost done you might want to consider that first before you go chasing after these grill pieces and everything else because we all get stuck in that whole process of wanting to buy figures and buy grill pieces mm -hmm. when you already have pre-orders sitting there that you should pay off first so exactly we're going to talk about that on wednesday along with you know again i'm i'm, I'm kind of leaning towards anthony's way right now where i don't think i think as of right now we're done uh what releases yeah. i think that yeah, we're we done are. i don't think we're getting done. anything else um right now um everybody who's wanting or praying that we get this ahsoka with me it's not going to happen so it's going to happen after the new year so just prepare for that just you just want to basically make sure that you know you're getting all your, all your priorities are straight so that we're going to talk about that on wednesday uh definitely so um can't wait for that and also on thursday is going to be uncivilized scoundrels we will talk about episode six of um the book of boba fett um so that should be interesting and you'll see me back here on sunday um also on sundays basically we have the um take your position well next week we'll actually be doing dc versus marvel so on take your position i can't wait for that so it's gonna be fun so if you haven't already subscribed subscribe to the one six scale me youtube page you um instagram and twitter and yeah let's have some fun man definitely have some fun nice man well thanks for joining as always man so brother cousins what's coming up on the brother cousins toy reviews channel awesome man once again thank you so much for the invite sorry thank for being guys. late guys um yeah, ugh, it's a crazy day but yes so on brother cousins toy reviews we have and so next week we got best of the best we're going to be having the winner um, on the show, the guy that won the I won Rex competition. Um, I'm actually sending out, sending his Rex out tomorrow. We'll have him on the show um, on Thursday, and gonna have probably a lot of you members on this panel right here on that panel on Thursday. So that's gonna be real fun. Also, I'm doing a collection tour video. Um, I should be dropping yes. that this week. Um, so that's gonna be real fun. I've been got so many so many new things in the collection right now oh and as of today i actually acquired a new terminator arm i, I sent the broken one back to uh to sideshow i was able nice. to procure another one from pop culture this morning so can't wait to get that Hell back yeah, yeah. in the collection i need i need that in even yeah so and i'm doing a review on that but congratulations. 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 Thank, you. Thank, congrats. You. thank you thank you congrats thank you. congrats, thank you. congrats. 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 Yeah. congrats you deserve thank that you. I, hey, I, I was missing it. I was missing it. <laughs> hurt, my, hurt my heart. So yeah, so um, that's gonna so that's gonna be cool. Um, what else we got going on? Um, I think that's about it. Um, looking for any news. I agree with Leo. I don't think we're gonna Leo and uh and Anthony. I don't think we're gonna get anything, you know, right before the new year or after, you know, right at this point. Who knows? It could be anything. I'm still keeping hope alive. I'm still checking. I, hope, I wanted to prove me wrong. I want to be proved wrong because I will be sure. happily happy to be proved wrong. Straight up. Absolutely. Absolutely. Even if it's an even if it's an announcement, they're like, hey, it's going to ship after the new. I would I would be happy with that. So, mm -hmm. but we don't know right now. It's looking kind of looking kind of looking kind of not like it's going to happen. So. Yeah, it wouldn't count on it. Yeah. Yeah. Just but uh anyway that's for me and uh i want to say one last thing let's get anthony to a thousand let's, let's just do keep it. that energy thank up. you man let's keep that up 
What are you, 75 away? We need Yeah, he's real close. Y'all can do uh, that. Pretty, Come on. Let me... 926, so 74. 74. Nice. 74. Let's Come on, get guys. It let's pump the, those are rookie numbers. Let's pump those numbers. Those are rookie <laughs> numbers. Uh, nah, but I, I suspect most are already subscribed, so I appreciate it. Um, but, you know, it'll, it'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get nah, there, bro, man. you're going to get there. Like, you, dude, you've been growing super fast. All you guys, seriously. I mean, like, you know, everyone's growing super fast, and you guys all deserve it. Seriously. Appreciate um, it. Yeah, absolutely. So, and uh, so, Zach, what's going on with Collecting Yo. Weekly, Aux Daddy? Cheating. <laughs> he won by 200, Leo. Well, I should have won by 700. No. Uh, <laughs> um, Minus 500 for Leo. Tomorrow, uh, we're unboxing two DXO7s on CW Live Unboxings. So that should be pretty fun. Uh, Tuesday, we have episode 201 of Collecting Weekly. So we've been, I think we're like the longest running weekly six scale collecting show. So we had a big milestone last Tuesday. Uh, After Dark on Wednesday at 10.30 is kind of our... Thank you. It's kind of like our fuck around show. Uh, we have small talks. So if you're into the smaller figures, that's on Thursday. Uh, Friday, we have Inoc, uh, which is our statue show. And then Saturday, we're playing D&D. So it should be should be a pretty nice. busy week of streaming. Awesome. Nice. Dude, that all sounds great. Thanks for joining, yeah. of course, man. And KG, the famous KG Chalamet. Bro, what's coming up with you, man? Nothing much, man. Like Again, um, Will, thanks for inviting me. As always, it's an honor to be course, on. Um, and pr- pretty much the same old me, man. I just come on you know different channels like yesterday i wasn't collecting weekly post wars and now yours and you know lales and everybody else in the panel so I'm, I'm pretty much jumping on different streams for me not not and right now my channel is pretty pretty low i'm not doing anything right now currently i'm just taking a break from my channel i'm just enjoying being on live streams and watching live streams right now but i will be coming back soon but yeah nothing much it's nothing much for me man uh but i you know if you guys want to check me out on instagram it's kg underscore collector and also my channel kg collector you can see that down the bottom below it's pretty much it for me so cool well yeah thanks so much to everyone for watching and for joining my lovely panel they were awesome so you guys played jeopardy like true pros and uh i yeah. hosted like the true pro <laughs> i don't think there's I any other way may i say <laughs> uh kg you uh you did very well last night on the oh, thanks. oh yeah he got he got really sad really That's I, I I actually you you uh exceeded my expectations man and that's yep. cool because wow. you were always like yeah, i don't thanks. like posing my figures See? and then KG's getting a lot and of then love that cherry got popped and he he proved it last yeah. night so yeah thanks job, man. man i appreciate it i appreciate yeah. all the love as like i said before it's all fun and games you know it was it was a tournament but it was a fun tournament you know it was nothing it was nothing crazy uh, I, mm-hmm. what what zach is doing with that pose wars is really entertaining mm-hmm. and uh, i hope it keeps going i hope it keeps going from here so yeah yeah Getting oh, a lot of love, KG. And thanks so much, Avengers Assemble. This is awesome. Yeah, it is an amazing yeah. panel. They they always make me look good, so for sure. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We will catch you in the next one. Maybe we'll have some Jeopardy, this or that. Who knows? I got to come up with just layout segment up on for the Wednesday. Rules, bro. What'd you say, Anthony? <laughs> I said just brush up on the rules. <laughs> nah, man. We're going, we're going <laughs> in unprepared. That's the best kind. Right. So, but uh, guys, thanks so much for joining. We'll catch you in the next one.